And in this corner, we legit have the legend, the Georgie Town Warrior, York Morgan. I will be in your bed, meow. I pee pee in bed, ha <laughs> ha, meow. I updated OBS and it killed my, uh, killed my scene switcher. Whatever. <laughs> what is it, Dilly? You look troubled. This is it. There's no turning back now. Oi, come on, Dilly Duck. Just you wait, Lynx. Today's gonna be the day of reckoning. Say your prayers and go but deep into a bottle of water, yeah? <laughs> Dilly! I did this earlier and it was Greyco. I wish it was Greyco again. Are we only recruiting one person per route? I... I don't think so. I think it was Rico when you did it last. I took a picture and it was it was Rico. Uh, when I did it earlier, I was I was testing the thing before I did this, and it was in fact Rico earlier. All right. RG missed. But what in it? So the idea is we're doing a nuzlocke, okay? Not only are we doing a Nuzlocke, we're doing it so that every character can only use their innate element, color. So Doc is yellow, he can only use yellow spells. Surge is white, he can only do white stuff. He can only do white people stuff. That's about it. Um, as far as recruiting, I was going to say I think everyone's fair game. I'll recruit anybody I want because I'm doing the element thing. If I wasn't doing the element thing... I would probably just do one per. He's the basicest of white boy. I love that Doc moves in slow motion here. Thanks for the rotisserie chicken, buddy. So yeah, um, I added, for now, I've added two point rewards. Dude, I'm, I'm so stuck on Final Fantasy VII, I don't know if I should use the V-pad or the analog. So, I added two point rewards. One is swap members. It just, you pick one character, I'll put them in over somebody else. And then there's another one that you will sacrifice a character to revive another one. Come up with any better ideas, let me know. So dual techs are not allowed, and analog should work fine for this game. No, analog does work fine. It's just I've been playing Final Fantasy VII, which forces me to not play with analog. So I'm confused. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm like, do I use the D-pad or do I use the fancy stick? What? Worst Naruto character? It's 1010. What? I'm sorry? That's like a given. Doesn't this, isn't this, this is supposed to do something, right? I don't know, what, what am I? 
Okay, maybe I'm wrong. I, I forgot in the tutorial. Not the bat, not the bat, not the bat. Go away. I'm trying not to get in any fights right now. So, um... I get dual techs are two different elements, right? Is there is there double element double innate elements, right? I just realized I don't have a drink with me. I'll have to go get one. Okay, that activated that. And get away from me! Somebody get their Zubat! Jesus Christ! <laughs> is it is it pathing me? Am I being pathed? I am! Please stop! I don't want to fight you! Ah! I did it! Oh, I did it! Oh my god! I'm a legend! I'm a legend! X slash for Surge white and well, Glenn green is red. Then no. Okay, I guess just this once I can do it for nothing. Ew, ew, ew. Okay, I guess I can do one more for nothing. Ew, ew, ew. Oi, what a bloody hell just happened? What are we doing out here? Wow, bugger, we're so high up. Is this thing floating? Did it feel like your body passed through the floor just now? This sure is some fault. Hey, Dilly? You all right, mate? You've been acting all weird. Who knows what's up ahead? So just stay on your toes then, eh? What is that accent? It's you. It's you. I'm going to name her after you. Because you guys talk the same. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get my water. Gwimbly needs to be modded in every game, actually. Good morning, Dilly. Artist? Artist is in this game? Come on, sleepyhead, get up. I'd live here, for sure. I am. That's true. Uh, those names are staying. Those names are permanent, by the way. I was thinking about adding a, a point reward for, like, put my name in the pool or something, but there's only, like, 44 characters. That's right. I've got secret savings, motherfucker. Okay, I think first thing we need to do, we need to edit this. We need to edit the screen, right? Can we can we do that? Oh, you can see the green bar. Damn it. Stupid green bar. Is that green bar bothering anybody? I might have to because this is still key, this is keyed in for Final Fantasy 7, which has like a different aspect ratio slightly. Custom? Simple line. Iron plate. Hmm. Uh, I guess we'll have to collect more later and change it. 
Maybe I should make that a point redeem too. To change it. Mercer position. Accuracy selection. I don't think I've ever looked at this stuff before. Maybe I have. I feel like I I feel like this is something I would have done immediately. I only noticed it because you mentioned it. I'm sorry. I can't help myself. Good morning, Dilly. Where's where's Homer? <sighs> Give me your fucking money. Oh, thank you, dude. I I wish I could see. What, I could wish I could see what that said. I I can't. I, for some reason, I can't see that. It's it's too small for me to see, and there's no prompt anywhere. Okay. Um, I gotta. I'm gonna fix this. How's everyone doing? How's your Saturdays going? Thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. I think it's this one. Let me just. It wait. It's gone now, huh? Hello? You're finally up. The sun's already reached high noon. Escanor is... You can see Escanor's penis from here. By the way, didn't you have plans to meet with Lena this morning? Lena came by to see if you were up. But you, young man, were still off in Never Never Land. Oh, no. You shouldn't break promises like that. Girls can be pretty scary if you make them angry. I guess it only shows up here. Huh. Oh, I see. The aspect ratio changes on the menu. So it like it gets a little bit smaller and then when you leave, it extends so the green line's gone. So that's probably good how it is. I'll probably only do that in the menu. Just chilling in chat before people come over for D&D. Ooh, that's hot. You do you do IRL D&D? Wow, dude. That's insane. I'm all right. I've got a lot of stuff going on. Started Mega Man Battle Network 5. There's a fifth one? How many are there? Every time I talk to you, you're like, I I've started another Mega Man. I've started another Mega Man. I've started another Mega Man. You'll, you'll never believe this, but I have started yet another Mega Man. Six. Had no Wi-Fi for a bit, but I'm back doing uni work. Well, that's what it's like in uh, in England or wherever you're at. Just constantly losing internet access, dropping frames. Oh, uh, hi, Dilly. I was lost in my thoughts there. You know how Kiki's grown up so quickly? Sometimes I'm just amazed at how much she resembles her mother. Yeah, I guess my wife is like that too. She's been very much like her mother since as long as I can remember. I guess that demonstrates how life continues to grow, to, to live on through generations. It's been about 10 years since I became a fisherman. Back then I still had other aspirations, but I ended up succeeding my dad. I guess you can say everything here represents 10 years of my life. Lion sharks, sawfish, six-horned narwhals. You name it. They represent all my hard work and dedication. I love my job, and I'm happy with my current lifestyle and all, but lately, I get to thinking when I see Kiki about how I could have had a different future if I had chosen a different path ten years ago. Then I'd be living a completely different life than I am now. I'm not saying which one would have been better, but I just wonder where the other path may have led me. I guess the longer you live, the more you wonder about Another you that might have been. I didn't, I actually didn't need that right now. I really didn't. Did not, did not know he was going to say that. Boy, life sure is complex. Oh, hey, Dilly, you want this? Here, take it. It's an amulet I made from a lion shark tooth 10 years ago when I decided to become a fisherman. I don't need it anymore. I have my wife and Kiki watching over me. Okay, so I need this to get um, the fucking straw guy. I think. If I remember right. <laughs> Just did not even let him finish. I'm playing 14 again. Boiling water. Like, is the water to punish yourself? Or is the for Final Fantasy 14 to punish yourself? 
I do IRL D&D. I am too much of a boomer for online games. But seriously, I didn't buy a house to not invite people over. That's exactly why I bought a house. Because otherwise I have to live next to people. I didn't lose Wi-Fi by choice. The people working on my house disconnected the damn cable. They're just tired of living in England. Boy, what a fun, colorful RPG. Ten minutes in, first NPC gets a little too real. I'm 21 and this is deep. Neither, for fun and nutrients. Ooh. Insanity leads to chaos, then to solitude. The fruitless effort of... Uh, this is not how people who live in, like, a, a paradise island talk. Imagine you boot up Kingdom Hearts 1 and... Okay, skip... Skip the part where they say all that shit in the dream. In actual, in reality. <laughs> They're just like, yo, you want to fucking hit each other with a wood sword? You want to race? A lone crimson tear falls into the sea. The echo of the remaining star cries out in the infinite vacuum. The least I can do is send my distant prayers over the wind of time, setting sail on dreams. Well, how'd you like it, Dilly? Were you moved? I've been dreaming about becoming a poet since I was little. I want to cross miss, the continent. You talk like I do, mate. All posh and sophisticated, or a trashy wanker like this slag pirate girl. This slag pirate girl? But look at me. I'm in this puny village in the middle of nowhere, waitressing in this rundown shack. What you say about my restaurant? You can quit any time, you know. Yikes! Just kidding. I was just kidding. I was just saying how good the work environment is. Chrissy little bitch. No answer. It's just a barrel. It's just a barrel. Army mist is kind of wild. <laughs> Me when I get recruited. Ivory helmet. Did he just backflip? Oh, I thought he backflipped. Look, it's Gus. Look, this looks just like Gus. That looks just like Gus. Wow. Insane. I can't believe he's in his own game. Georgie, are you proud? You gotta be proud. It's funny that they wanted to build a raft in Kingdom Hearts 1 when they already had boats. Did they... You know what? You're right. They did have those boats. Huh. They really did just have those fucking boats there, didn't they? Maybe the raft was just for more legroom. They didn't want to be that close to each other. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. A raft wouldn't sink. The boats could take on water and then sink. A raft wouldn't. It would always have buoyancy, right? Right? That's how they work. That would be stealing. It was theirs. They rode it to the island. Now, but for real, I talk like a northerner. Born in Durham and proud with the accent of a Midlander. I don't know what any of that means. You're late, Dilly. Sleeping in as usual, I suppose. You promised you'd go get some Komodo... I promised you'd go get some Komodo dragon scales for my necklace, remember? Since you were late, my mom asked me to babysit the kids. Come on, you guys, you should join us. Wouldn't it be tragic if a child died here at some point? Unlike the rest of you, we're not here to play. Don't swim out too far now. Kids sure have it easy. Remember when we were like that? Not a single care or worry on our minds. How each day lasted an eternity, filled with nudist fun and excitement. But the important thing now is not our childhood, but my Kimono steel necklace. Yes, we have to face up to the reality and live each day anew.
A new artist? So I want you to go to Lizard Rock and get some scales for me. I would join you, but I still have to watch the kids. It's your fault. You were late. Once you collect some Pelota Dragon Scales, I'll catch up with you at El Paso Beach. Is that okay with you, Dooley? I'll do it. I'll do it. Good, that's what I wanted to hear. Okay then, don't just stand around. Go collect some scales at Lizard Rock. Let's see. I think three should be enough. Good luck, Dilly. I'm counting on you. Bye-bye! I can't believe a new artist is in this game. Insanity. Yo, Dilly. I heard you totally blew off Lena this morning. I didn't think you had it in you. My Barrett voice has just stuck with me. That was real gutsy of you. I guess that kind of shows her who's boss, eh? Excuse me, I'm going to spin while you speak to me. Don't tell her I said so, but my sister's a bit uptight, you know? This bitch just carries a giant club. Is that a club? Could you, like, break her in a little? You know, make her act a little more ladylike? You know what's funny? They got rid of this line. This is, like, one of the changes they made in the remaster. They got rid of this line. Could you, like, break her in a little? What do you mean? What does that actually mean? Make her act a little more ladylike? You have my support all the way. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. I gotta break her in. I love that the uh, the I the save icons and shit are just like you know, forty year old man taking a selfie on Facebook. It's Cape Howell. Where the fuck is Lizard Rock? Isn't it here? There it is. Lizard Rock North. So I got five tablets, so I can't use those. Actually, I'm trying to think. Aren't those, like, items? So we've got a cure. We've got a tablet. This is a consumable. I'm trying to think. What do you think? What do you think, guys? Um... If I'm not using it in battle, is it usable? Or can I only use this if I have a red character? What do you what do you think would be fair? The royal just continue being a piece? No, it was fine. I just I felt like shit. I felt really awful. So I just didn't stream. <sighs> I'll do it some other day. I mean the the, the the one on PC still runs like garbage. And then the one on PS4 just was... It looked real bad. I guess we could risk it all, huh? Yeah, we're gonna risk it all now. We're gonna lose- we're gonna lose it all! For, for sure- for sure feel that. Do what makes you feel good, BB. I.e. me. Telling you to do me. Okay. Not the surf's up, dude. Ah! Uh... Did he just summon his boys? Oh my god, this just got real bad.
that 99% doesn't mean a goddamn thing, does it? Is there supposed to be a, a period in the front of it? So it's supposed to be 0.99%? Because that's what it fucking feels like. Eek. Dude, I forgot how much I love this battle theme. The fucking... Hey, what was it? I think I read a comment one day that said something like... What was it? It said, this theme ignites a, um, a visual of demented clowns chasing you. <laughs> and now that's all I think of whenever I see it. Or whenever I hear it. Is it Time Scar? Is Time Scar one of them? Because if it's not Time Scar, then you're doing it wrong. I stopped distracting myself. Mans is gonna head out, Dill Dude. I love ya. Love Georgie more. Love everyone else more. You guys have a good day slash night. Still waiting for the disaster report stream. Someone beat my world record, you know. The opening song played live is incredible. I mean, there's a reason I had it as my first intro song. Uh, my very first intro song, I ha uh, my, well, my friend, he was already doing it because the remaster was coming out. His name is Benson. He made like a metal cover of it. And then I took that and I made a intro for like the videos. Goodbye, RG Mist. <sighs> Liked it, but um, it is flagged. It does get a uh, content ID on YouTube. That's why I stopped using it so much. Every song in this game is free use except that one. Like they knew they had a banger. That's so cringe. Even covers? Yeah, even Benson's cover hit it. It doesn't matter. Covers covers still do it. If you play, you know, the shitty Titanic thing? The shitty Titanic flute? That will get flagged too. Covers count. Because I used that was like one of my first point redeems was making that sound alert trigger and it always flagged it on YouTube. And then I, I sent a I sent a dispute saying this is like a sh this isn't even a good cover. You could barely tell it's from that. And they uh, it got denied right away. Got denied so fast. Did I push that the wrong way? Oh my god, you're joking! Yeah, I can reset it. Ryan. Ryan? Ryan, listen to me. Listen to me, brother. Listen to this. Okay? Are you listening? Listen to the music, the world music for this. Tell me what it reminds you of. Ignore the sitar. Listen to the background stuff. Sorry, I should have let it play longer. It was getting, it was just at the part that like sounds really, you know. I was queuing so hard on the sitar. Yeah, don't listen to that. Listen to the stuff in the back. Mario Party map? The music in this game was made by the same person who composed, uh, who helped compose the Mario Party 1 music. Uh, I think there's like, there's like three or four songs that sound eerily similar to the Mario Party select stage screen or like the, the, the main menu. I looked it up because it was like, this sounds like Mario Party. This has to be fucking Mario Party. 
and I looked it up, and I remember seeing, like, there was, like, credits to the same person who wrote the music for that game. I wasn't even reading what that said. We're all broken, dude. Dilly collected Komodo skill. He stored his safety away. I stored the Komodo skill. It's now in my ass. The safest place for my Komodo skill. Do I gotta use the Komodo scale in the, uh, the Wutai fire cave? Is that what it's for? Where do I go now? Dude, I love this game. This game is so good. So I'm not gonna lie. After I couldn't get Persona 5 to... To run well I wanted to I wanted to do something I was looking through a lot of games I mean a lot of games I was trying to like come up with ideas this is something I've wanted to do for a dumb amount of time I've wanted to do this for a very long time I need to make oh I think I know Backwards now? I can't. I can't do it! Dilly found bone! Yay! What the fuck? What was that? No, I gotta fight him. All right, I'm, 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 I'm deeming, uh, I'm deeming uh, element use outside of battle legal. You get 777 Komodo scales. You can recruit Leviathan. Oh, if Taylor and I do it for a video, would you want to? Whoa. Whoa, dude. I mean, if you guys are going to do that for a video, why do I have to be involved? I feel like that's, like, huge OnlyFans content. Yeah, but I think that's, like, something you two should do by yourselves. Having me involved would be weird. Like, do you just want me to be the camera guy? And I know how you guys, uh, you know, do it. Taylor just beats the shit out of you. I I've seen it. Like, do we really need to videotape it? No, dude. Where do I sub? You are- you're already a sub, Georgie. You know what the ACT is, you sleut? I don't know what the ACT is, actually. Is that the- that's the- I- the ACT is something I had to take in school. The ACT prep test, I remember that. Damn, it's too bad I can't wear two helmets. Really? That high school to college test you gotta take? Yeah, the act- You're talking about taking the actual test? What the fuck is wrong with you? Dude, you come up with the weirdest shit, I swear to god. I, um... What, what was it? It was, um... So I was trying to get a dance pad to work. I don't know if you guys know this. I was trying to get the dance pad to work with Steam. Uh, because I was going to play Dark Souls with the dance pad, but I could not get it to work. It just would not work. So I already went that way.
So what what is it? Is is the idea that if you fail, are you just you're just taking the test for a video? That's that's the video taking the ACT test. Next thing you know, Ryan's gonna want to make a video about <laughs> going to college. <laughs> Guys, check this out. Today, we're gonna get our bachelor's in science. <laughs> you won't believe what happens. The video is us three taking it and seeing who does best. Bro, I've done that pussy shit. Charles' immigration test on the Aussies was so funny. Wait, immigration test? I saw that he was upset that they didn't come, they weren't able to come in. Shaman Ninja? I know them! I know them. So cool, I did it twice. Wow, dude, <laughs> disgusting. Wait, do you have an auto shout out on raids? No, I'm just that fast, dude. <laughs> I'm just so fast. Like I knew it was happening and I just immediately started typing in the shout out and I typed in that whole message myself too, brother. You just gotta be a better content creator like me, Dylan with a blankie. Shaman, what were you doing? Dude, I hate this guy, good. Shaman was being a fucking gamer playing retro. What does that even mean? What's this down there? No. Is this a giant clam? It is. Fucking shit. Dude, this is Ryan's fault. He's got me so hung up on Mario Party music that. Whoa! Hey, see? That was. I told you it was Ryan's fault. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. My chest! Uh, my chest! Yeah, come to me! Come to daddy! Come! 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 Ah. Oh, yeah! I got a silver toupee. Improves hit percent. God, I need it. Bad Saturday, and I wasn't invited? Have fun cooking. Make me something, too. do I do now? Do I just keep fighting shit? Really don't want to die. I feel like he's blocking an important path. That's why he just stands there. He decided. Okay. No, it's not important. It's not important at all. Oh no! Man, that was a mistake. Mistakes were made. I looked... I was gonna get the remaster. I looked into getting the remaster, um, and it's awful. I gotta say. The remaster of this game is just not great. It's in fact shitty poopy butts. Improved hit percent, and I still miss every other attack. We won't make it to the third round with this. I heard bad things when it first came out. They did. They didn't get it. It didn't get any better. Um, so like it's like high, not squirt gun. It's like high res uh, textures, but with nothing to like. It's like it's like uh, making Legend of Dragoon high res, but not fixing anything. So it still looks like shit. Uh, like, the characters look alright, but everything else looks bad. The only, like, good thing about it is the built-in feature. 
uh, the built-in feature to um, fast forward. Like, that's it. It's the only reason you'd want to get the remaster. I need to get used to defending more. Recharging the stamina. Good old Hannah on stamina. It said fixes for a lot of the release issues like a year after release. It's such a shame though, because you know, when companies like do something like that and then look at it, then they're like, oh, this sold poorly. So I guess we're not gonna do anything more with this IP. We better just let it die. And it's like, you know. It's depressing to think of it that way. Ah, oh, dude, it just moves too fast. It's too fast. What the fuck? <laughs> I should have played Cooking Mama. Dude, it, it's like he waits. I'm pushing X the whole time I'm there. It's like he fucking waits till he passes to be able to make the to do to do the goddamn jump. Anyway, these are some big sea cucumbers. Dude! I just want to kill you and give you to my girlfriend. Is that asking so much? Does he come back? Metal Gear style. God fucking... Alright, well, this is the rest of the game. It's no longer a Nuzlocke. It's now a can we catch this one Komodo dragon ever. God... <laughs> I would honestly like to see a game like this today. I feel like Octopath Traveler is the like this game today, but I don't know, man. Got him! Oh, fuck. I just don't think it was good enough. I kind of want to try Octopath Traveler 2, but when it's a lot cheaper, because I bought Octopath Traveler when it came out. And as far as I'm concerned, that was just a waste of money. I was hyped up to be like a, to be like a sick game, just wasn't. I didn't even get that far, sadly. I, I think I've said this before. I don't remember how recently I've said it, but you know how the characters don't talk to each other. I couldn't get over it. Like, honestly, it could have been the best game ever. And the fact that like all those characters don't interact was too much. Like, I just, I, I couldn't get over it. It was too big of an issue.
So is there well, one more? One more dragon to get? Jorky, where's my expert? Jorky! Jorky, how many scales do I need to get? How do I get this one? Gotta be like something to block the path. Can I like break this bridge? I can't remember how to get this one. I can't remember. I think you like gotta sneak up behind him? But I don't know how to get behind. Maybe I chase him there and there's like a way to go around. see what is what is the most disappointing game you've ever played like if you can think of one it doesn't have to be the most disappointing just the most most recent in memory resident evil 3 remake dude i didn't say go as big as you fucking can but you did I didn't say what's the most dog shit game that's ever been made. Recent Detective Pikachu 2. Really? I thought you enjoyed that. That crushed my soul. It was 777 scales. Gotcha. Uh, how do I... Jorky, how do I get this one? How do I get the last dragon? It was aggressively okay. Use TTS to tell me as well. Do I just keep chasing it? Huh. Oh no, wait, hold on, I think that's it. I'm getting closer. Got him. Pikmin 2 killed my spirit, but some people love it. I th wasn't Fang giving you shit about that? Just don't 100% it. Oh no. Oh no. Bro, I'm not even gonna 1% those games. I've never played them. Never will. No, j just kidding. Just kidding. I might play them one day. I think I've. I think I've. Honestly, I've only... I was pretty whelmed by the most recent Pokemon. A few of them, whelmed? actually. Arceus was mid to me. I can't believe you were whelmed, dude. Oh god! I forgot this happened. <laughs> Just look at me. Uh...
not breath. Arc Rise Fantasia was a big sad for me too. If we reach further back, or Tales of Arise, if we factor being high standard. Dude, you're telling me, okay? I reached a new? Dilly reached a new, chat. He, I thought he was forever out of my reach, but I finally got him. He's mine now, he's my little baby boy. When, when Arise came out, that made me want to play every single Tales game because I love the Tales games. And for it to, for it to end on that, what people were like, dude, I don't even know what to say. I, I don't even know what to say about it. Cause like, people love Tales of Arise. Like so many people love Tales of Arise and talk so well about it. And then the same thing with Final Fantasy VII Remake, right? People just talked so good about it. And I'm just like, is it me? Am I the problem? Because, like, I've never played a OG Final Fantasy VII, right? And I'm playing it now, and it's fucking amazing. So either, it's one of two things. It's either, I'm too old, and I only like old things now, or games suck now, and they're not as good as they used to be. Yeah, you just didn't seem to like Rise much. Well, and, and what was even worse is that I had, I had set myself up for failure because I played so many of the other games. So when I played the games and I got I played like my favorite ones, like objectively the best ones in the series, and then I got to Arise, it was like, oh, this is it? So I wasn't just disappointed. I was disappointed generationally. <laughs> There's a middle ground of subjective tastes varying. Why? Well, yeah. Because I know there's like a lot of different stuff, you know, between like, you know, like me and you as gamers, we have a lot of differences and similarities. And some of those don't mesh with other things. So like, I mean, you like the Pokemon, uh, you like uh, the Pokemon. I, I, I wasn't going to say like the Pokemon stuff like an old man. I was going to say like the Pokemon spinoffs. And I'm not as big a fan of the spinoff games. Like I like Pokemon. But when it comes to like the spinoff titles, like Mystery Dungeon, I just, I don't know. I just don't, I can't get into them. Well, now you're an Arnie. What brings you here to the quiet seaside village? Oh, it's you, Dilly. Just don't be going near Hydra Marshes to the east if you go outside. Don't want you to run into those evil dwarves in that Hydra now. Say, why don't you go talk to the village chief before you set out? This house is, you know what? Maybe I should. Forgot about him. Let's go, let's go check on heroes. I'm varied on spinoffs. That's why I tend to take breaks between games and series to not burn myself out. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, just rub it in my face. Fuck you. Definitely more Final Fantasy of a remake for people who had already consumed all existing media. I have zero care for Mystery Dungeon, but I fuck with Conquest. <laughs> oh, Dilly, how goes it? How would you like to join everyone for my lecture? Today's lecture is the fundamental of attack and art elements. Oh, it does not interest you. Well, come again, Sonny. I promise to take it easy on you. Yeah, uh, okay. So he's just tutorial stuff, so I'm going to ignore that. So, yeah, I was talking to Rico about this yesterday. I had sent him a message, and I said, Hey, why don't you like Final Fantasy VII? Because, like, I, I, I legitimately, like, I'm fucking with it. I love it. Snap 64? Okay, okay. Snap 64 is one of the best games ever. Like, Snap 64 is one of the easiest games to consume and put down and then consume again later. And then new Pokemon Snap fucking sucks. And I played that when it came out. So I was still young when I played that. Young-ish. That game sucked. I did not like new Pokemon Snap. So I messaged Rico. And I'm outing him right now. I'll read exactly what he said. It's a long message. I'm going to read you exactly what he said. It's very long. So this is Rico's take on Final Fantasy VII. <clears throat> Damn it, my... Hold on, I gotta do this myself. <sighs> I said, 
The game is fantastic. Did you really not enjoy it? Or I said this game. He said, Ahem. My biggest complaint about Final Fantasy VII is the flow. I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. My biggest complaint about Final Fantasy VII is the flow. It consistently felt disjointed throughout the adventure for me. And I always had a feeling I was doing everything out of order, even when I wasn't. The characters didn't really do much for me. And I couldn't really resonate with many of them. I wish so much of the deeper lore wasn't in other products, like the novella for Tifa's side, or why you should even care about Aerith without Crisis Core to at least give you some structure to the character. A lot of the characters felt really disjointed from what the underlying story was trying to establish. Nor really let some of the, of the build or develop all that much in comparison to the others. I like character development that lets you get deep into each character's psyche, their backstories, their reasons for why they are the way they are, and their reasons for being involved. Final Fantasy VII has several hooks for that, but it also felt really rushed in a lot of those avenues. That's mostly because they had to rewrite the script from the ground up late in the development and ran out of time to meet initial goals. So for what it did accomplish, it did fairly well. A lot of those deeper dives can be found in other Final Fantasy VII related releases, both in writing and in other media slash games. But I'd have liked most of that to be in the initial release rather than having to hunt it all down. Some being Japanese exclusive, lol. Most other Final Fantasies before and after did not need to do that, but again, if they didn't have such a big hurdle lead into development, it probably would have met most of those expectations for me. It's like needing DLC to take in the full experience, but before DLC was a meta, lol. There's so much you miss out on with plot holes, but it's also easy to accept it as is, and that'd be enough as well. So it's pretty subjective to the balance of story writing one prefers. Sephiroth is also really bland as an antagonist. He's definitely nowhere near as interesting as most other Final Fantasy antagonists, but he do be eye candy, I suppose. I feel even Genesis had more opportunity to shine if he had the spotlight. In the end, uh, I guess I won't read that just in case. This character is the real antagonist, but he would just be the dentist from Speed Graffer if he was a legit goal antagonist. I think FF6 fanboys wanted another Kefka. Best best villain ever, even I know that, and I haven't finished Final Fantasy VI. But I didn't really care much for Sephiroth's reasoning for his goals. I like when a big bad also has their own relatable values you can somewhat resonate with. But I can vibe with an Aizen from time to time. I'm mostly there for character developments, over the story most of the time anyway, which I, I felt fell flatter in Final Fantasy VII than most other RPGs I played, but it's still a decent game overall. And my response was they definitely milk this verse a lot. There's a lot of spin-offs and extra stories. It's kind of funny how they hinted at that in the game with those extremely important and missable scenes. Uh, and then Sep I, I think Sephiroth is a slow burn for sure. Like his his is his uh his impending entrance and the way they present him insane masterful. But after that, he does nothing. He does nothing but exists after that, you know? He would just be like uh hey it's me, silver hair boy, stabbing shit. And that's it. He just shows up from time to time. And I don't really care about him anymore. Like, the, the Nibelheim incident was peak, and then it just, like, slowly, like, went down. Um, <laughs> and, uh, as I said, uh, like I said about the other characters, like, Kate C is not anybody. Never was, never will be. And Vincent doesn't do anything for me either. So, I I'm not going to read the rest of it because I don't want to spoil stuff. But... I agree. I agree with what Rico says on some of those things, for sure. For sure, five sure, ten sure, seventeen sure, maybe. <sighs> I thought Aerith was your favorite OG. I played Crisis Core before OG. Yo, I'm not a huge Sefi fan, but Genesis sucks. <laughs> Let Rico cook. What is what is man cooking? So yeah, no, I I agree. Um, Genesis and Crisis Core is super silly, honestly. Sephiroth does nothing but taunt Cloud and give him headaches. Kate C lost everything to me when he was a goddamn traitor, and they haven't fixed it! Like, he, he's done, like, one or two things, like, leaking stuff out, but he still, like, caused a lot of issue. There you are. Oh, sorry. Wrong voice. There you are. Sorry I'm late. I hope you didn't wait too long, Billy. Well, 
how'd it go? Did you get the Komodo dragon scales? Oh, they're beautiful. I'll be able to make a great necklace with these. Thank you, Dilly. It sure has been a long time since we last came here. We used to come all the time. But has he released Marlene yet? Right, he even has it. Um, Dirge made me really love Katesy, and that's that's a point. That's a that's a big point. That's one of the points that um, Rico was making in that DM that I leaked to everybody. You want to care about the characters? You better play Dirge of Cerberus. You better play Crisis Core. You better play uh fucking the the mobile game um that that, that exposits on stuff. You better get the novella to to experience Tifa. You better. Play this one, and then this one, and then you better buy all three of the new remakes to experience every part of the story in its entirety. Like, it's just like, they're really like breaking it up and making you chase after puzzle pieces everywhere. And it's, it's irritating. Like, I, I won't do that. I haven't done that. I'm not going to. I've only played Crisis Core and I didn't finish it. I, I remember where I got to. I got to, in Crisis Core, I looked up the guide and I looked up the chapters. I got to right before he went, he goes to Nibelheim. So once again, I stopped a Final Fantasy VII game before the Nibelheim incident. <laughs> Don't get me started on that mobile game. For me, I didn't need those, and a chunk of them lessened it. I mean, I'm enjoying it now without them. Um, but still, like, I don't get why people are so hung up on Aerith's death. I guess it, it's a thing of its time, because in games, characters didn't die at that point. And her death is just like... Who cares? Like, I don't care. She wasn't really exposited on as a character in spoilers, dude. Shut up. <laughs> and in in remake, in remake, um, I care about her a lot more. Like, <laughs> dude, that that scene where she's on the fucking ladder and she goes, stop treating me like a princess. <laughs> or she's like, I'm not a princess. And the ladder breaks. Shit. That's like <laughs> the greatest piece of character writing I've ever seen in my life. I love that scene. That made me that made me fall in love with it right away. The cow never changes, does it? It's been rolling in and out like this since long before we were born. It's been here for eternity, it seems. It's probably seen many things, heard many things. It'll probably keep rolling in and out. In and out. Long after our lifetime without a single change. Hey, Jelly. Remember when we used to sit and talk like this when we were kids? With the gentle sea breeze and the tranquil sound of the waves? Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Do you still remember that day? Could I be a bomb? We think I said you both, though I don't remember, do I remember? Uh, Lou? I mean, she's treated as a full party member, even if she even has full limits in a final one If she does have some good moments in a deeper in the party, I... I love Aerith Gainsborough and Toby Fox. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, AJ. I just had to do it with the voice. You know? Alright, I'm gonna let Faith decide. I remember. Really? You do? So, Dilly, you haven't forgotten about the promise you made that day. But aren't memories strange? Oh, here we go with the memory bullshit. Just when you think that you've forgotten about something, it comes floating back into your butt. I guess it's just lying there and wait, waiting for that right moment. Why, we might even remember this very moment someday. In 10, 20 years, we're all grown up and married and have kids of our own. Then one day, when that time comes, I wonder what kind of adults we'll be. What kind of life will I be leading? I wonder what to make of this day. Yeah, I guess so. But that would be really sad, wouldn't it? Oh, Dilly, you 
these things so they got their wadding too. Dilly. It's Georgie. He's telling me to make content again. Get out of my head, Georgie! Get out! Give me content to consume. Feed the gay within. Dilly? Oh no. Not a cutscene. I like his nose. I wish my nose was like that. <sighs> that the that little the little kid noise there is the most generic kid noise I've ever heard. Like I swear, Hey Arnold has that kid noise like three times per episode. Dilly's not actually real. I made him five years ago with the sole purpose to make me content. What did you make me out of? Is that why I crave the gay agenda? Maybe I am the gay agenda. Georgie made me out of the gay agenda. It all makes sense now. That's why I crave it. Because I am it. What are you doing there, boy? It's dangerous to sleep out here. You know what these guys look like? They look just like the thieves from Legend of Dragoon. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. All we need is for them to go, Yeah! Yeah! You all right, boy? What on earth are you doing lying down anyway? For a second there, I thought you might have been a dead body washed ashore. I'm not dead. <laughs> not this time, anyway. <laughs> Where's Lena? You were the only one I saw when I got here. Are you a friend of Lena's? I believe she's in the village babysitting. Well, I'd best be on my way. Anyway, if you're looking for Lena, you should stop by the village. You know you shouldn't be playing out here, boy. Wouldn't want anything to happen to you now, boy. You call me boy one more time, I'll stab you in the throat, motherfucker. Give me that dragon, I need its scale. I'm gonna kill it and take one of its scales. Give it to my girlfriend. Then disappear. Where'd I go, chat? Take a picture, take a screenshot. The perfect desktop background, I'm telling you. Beautiful. Shit, I might do it myself, I don't know, I'm thinking about it. I'll pull up the stream later. You know what would be awesome if you get a dynamic background of this? With the sound of the water, and the sound of me talking over the water. You know what, is there something over there? I, I, sh I should be clicking buttons while I'm over there. What the heck? Those aren't... Those aren't the squishy boys. Those are some kind of weird fish. I gotta jump into the ground, butthole. Thank god these treasure chests refill. Dilly found a feather. Yes! Georgie, who did I name you after last time? Do you remember? Was there a Georgie character? There had to have been a Georgie character. I know, I remember Jorky, I remember Artist. I can't remember what Georgie's character was if you had one. Oh God. I was the gambler dude? Gambler dude. Gambler dude, why can't I remember him? Did I just not use him? Or did I get him really late? I can't fucking remember.
I'm still watching? That's ominous. What, is, what does that mean? You're, st you're still... What you want? I'm looking out. I'm looking out for you, buddy. I'm looking out for you, CR. Black magic throws dice. He fights with the cards. Oh, cards, right? He was used for the final fight, I think. Oh my gosh. I can't remember. Game. Oh, right, right. Oh, yeah. The guy with the fucking the goofy teeth, right? The guy with the... <laughs> okay, I remember now. We get him on the we get him on the ship, I think. And he's doesn't he say like something after he talks like schnuck or something? Or schnark? I don't know, something like that. We're gonna have to make a big decision later, Jorky. On whether we get your character or not. Because there's a chance. There's a, we could go a different route and just not get your character. Damn it. Your guy is one of the main missables. Not picking my character on a Nuzlocke? Are you trying to make this harder? I'm gonna let the chat decide. If anyone, if anyone's here to vote for it, I'm gonna let them pick. Whether we do X option or other X option, and they might not know. And they might just pick the option that locks you out of being picked. And then whoever I get from that interaction, I will name after you. I am before Jorky is a uh, is court is it court Korsh? the kid the annoying kid or Orca Orca or something like that damn I can't remember that kid's name. Defend it at the right time. What is that? What is that clip? My character's in the famous clip. Oh, the ice needle clip? <laughs> we'll always have to have a blue character in the party, won't we? I can't believe Georgie's out here looking up clips. Ugh. Wow. Cringe. Oh, hey, I guess he just respawned. What? Bastard, I didn't want to fight you again. He got, he, he got me back. He revenged me. Again. God dang it. God dang it, Bobby. Oh, 
I get to fight the dragon again. So, a answer me this. If you look at that clip and you look at this, does it look better now? Does the does the the quality of the game look better than it did in that clip? Cuz now I'm using the retro tink. Kind of looks the same to me. Well, stab a knife into my heart, why don't you? I see how it is, Georgie. Nice. We are both in chat. I mean, you're both in chat right now. You two are never not in chat unless you're at the store. And that goes for both of you. Definitely want to live on the beach somewhere there. I don't know, man. A tsunami could hit you while you sleeping. You really want that? I'm gonna go sleep in my bed. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad ever happens to guys who sleep in their own bed. What are you doing here, man? This is my island. Well, I'll let you rest here for a little while, man. You wanna rest, man? Have a good night, man. <laughs> I just killed your entire family in the other world. I'll just wear a water ring. That'll be exactly a hundred G, man. Oh, fuck this guy. This is why I kill. This is this is this is my villain's this is my villain backstory. Or my villain origin story. Why does he kill all the Komodo dragons? Well, one time I slept in my own bed and was charged a hundred gold. Huh? Who the? What are you doing in my house? My house isn't a playground for you kids, alright? Go play outside. Huh? Who? Marge? Who the heck's that? I've lived in this house for five years now. Sorry, that name doesn't ring a bell. But you should. <laughs> Just turn off live notifications. Whatever with all your gibberish, man. Just get out of here. If a video game protag lived in my town, I'd immediately move. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've seen Tales of Fantasia. I know how that shit ends up. You know what? I think I do understand the, you know, the whole Final Fantasy VII era thing because I played Tales of Fantasia when I was young and that had a lasting impact on me because I'd never seen a game do that shit. Oh, oh hello there. I just finished praying. Oh. Here, take a look. It's called Mojo. It's a good luck charm from the Far East. Can you feel the love and affection oozing from it? It's just such an amazing messenger of love and courage. Think about it, my brother. How our everyday lives are controlled by uncertainty and fear. If this man didn't become a fisherman, this is what he becomes, by the way. Our spent yesterdays and an uncertain tomorrow. How we live a meaningless today. This holy item filled with the prayers of people today protects us and supports us. Come, my brother. Let us pray together and bring peace of mind to our hearts. Where you can find true love and peace of mind within Mojo. How do I? 
You felt an aura of longevity from Ari, the cat. Not! You felt a beam of light from Lasery, the cat. Not! Can I- wait, can I give it to him? I'm trying to remember. Hold on, isn't there a way to... Yeah! That's it. Got it. Oh, this is a tooth from a ferocious lion shark. And look at the size of this thing! Judging from the size, this baby must have been a good 15 feet. Don't tell me you're the one who caught it. What? What did you say? Another me? So the other me who became a fisherman asked you to give this to me? you talking about that's enough there's only one me how can there be another me out there sure there was a point in my life when i thought about becoming a fisherman that was a good 10 years ago but i couldn't do it i gave up that path right then and there i just gave up i don't care what you say this is the path i chose and i don't regret it besides you can't just change the way you live in the blink of an eye now if you would please put that thing away and leave me alone How is that? Did I do that right? Or did I do it wrong? I can't remember. I think I got him on accident when I played that, that one time. Oh, hello there. I just finished praying. Here, take a look. It's called Mojo. Take a good luck. It's a good luck charm from the Far East. Can you feel the love and affection? It's just such an amazing mixture of love and courage. Think about it, my brother. How are, th 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 like, we didn't just talk about this. Far East does sound like it. <sighs> and opening up the IGN guide. To have Mojo in your party, first go to the Fisherman's Hut in Arnie, which is second hut. We're in the parallel. Talk to the guy in the basement. You'll notice the room is different. Now to obtain Mojo, talk to the guy. He'll talk about Mojo. After talking to him, go to him again, but don't press X. Press square and pick the shark tooth. Tell the story about his decision. If you're showing the shark tooth, get out of the room. You'll be stopped by an unknown voice and you'll notice the straw doll is moving. The straw doll will join your party after the talking sequence is done. Okay. I think I fucked up. I think I talked. Go talk to him again, but don't press X. After joining the shark tooth, get out of the room. You'll be stopped by an unknown voice. Did I? Did, how did I mess that up? This is like so specific.
What? Damn it! <laughs> you gotta have someone in the party first. That's stupid. You can't do it yet. You have to get you have to get someone in your party first. Is Gus still in here? Oh, now it's Gary. Tablet. Damn it, I wanted an iPad. Go sell for more. you have we met somewhere before are you from termina hey yeah you don't be trying to pull any moves on our lena you jerk don't be silly don't go swimming out too far now you hear okay gotcha kids i guess kids will be kids don't worry about them. Hmm. You know, you look a lot like the boy who used to live next door to me. What was his name? Why? Why do you want to know his name? That boy died. He drowned and did. Was his, his name was Ben. Ben drowned. And he was very young. This all happened ten years ago. We're in Termina. Ben drowned? Oh, fuck. Soon after, his mother passed away, too. I was still very young back then, so I don't remember too well. But my mom says his name was... Dilly. Fuck, dude. Such a missed opportunity to name myself Ben. I forgot. If I ever do another run of this, I'm going to name him Ben. Why? Just for that one line. Ben drowned. Why would I lie about something like that? You think I'm so cruel as to make some something like that up? That boy. I guess I kind of liked him. Next year. Easy. You got it. That boy was still alive today? I wonder what would have become of us. Sure is weird. Why am I opening up to you like this? Well, I guess there's no use thinking about the past. Not like Dilly's gonna come back. <laughs> Magically talk to me on this pier. <laughs> Mom always tells me I shouldn't dwell on a lost loved one. You can find his grave up on Cape, Cape Howell. Actually, why don't you go visit the gravesite? No one's been up there in a while. Well, I still have some chores to finish. Sorry I blew up at you like that. You know, thinking about it, it does make sense that they would bury him up there because, like, you know, tides and stuff. I could <laughs> imagine they <laughs> imagine them first burying their dead on the beach and then realizing that eventually their corpse would just be out. Goodbye, stranger. Haha, <laughs> what are you buying? What are you selling? Goodbye, stranger. All right, let's go visit our own grave. Go talk to our corpse. You go fishing and catch dead grandma. Honestly, my favorite, my favorite dish. Oh God, the buttholes. Found Electro Jolt. 
Can't use that. Billy found bone! Crazy when you think about it that there's just a dead body, like right there, of a baby. There's some writing on the tombstone. Rest in peace, our beloved Dilly. Died, age seven. Nobody can take anything away from him, nor can anyone give him anything. What came from the sea has returned to the sea. Oh, I guess he drowned. They probably didn't get him back. It's just a memorial. So you must be Dilly, the ghost of the boy who died ten years ago. Don't move. It's no use. There's no escape that way. All you have to do is come with us. But Sir Karsh, do you think it's truly true? But Sir Karsh, do you think it's truly true that this chap is a ghost? He seems like a perfectly perfect young boy to me. That doesn't matter. We found the boy here just as he said we would, what didn't we? Now seize him. Hold your seahorses! Alright, hold on. Biggs and Wedge versus Salt and Pepper. Who's winning? Who the... Oh, you're tired? Here, can you read this for me? I love this sea! Guys, I will change color! He's saying um it says where is our heart and see where it is and where is our special half of our dream of our heart and this is why if you get the password have fun of your video <laughs> don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget to Yeah, I'm ready to fight. One, two, three, go! Guys, that's a guard one. You gotta say, say his his element is white. His element is white. Now say that does it. That does it. Say, quick, attack him with the opposite. A quick, attack him with the opposite. Where is our heart and our shrine? Where does it go? Where is our best heart? I don't think I can fight. Where is my heart and see where that goes? 
Where is Chucksy go? But he's always going to fight a little while. And his best heart is not going to be happy. Wherever he comes from their heart, but if they're strong, they're strong. If they're, they are missing anything. She's retconning the story. Say Call of Duty Shooter Man. Call of Duty Shooter Man. Oh, I can have. I can turn songs on. You turn songs on? In here. Uh, that means, uh, I can't. Yeah, don't mess with that, cause it'll it'll also change this. Thing. Go do that. They're on the same frequency, apparently. Hey, who's the best streamer? <laughs> no. Hey, bye. You're gonna answer the question with the number. Okay, go ahead. That one's dead. We gotta, we gotta, we killed one. We killed two of them. We gotta kill the one more. That's what Gengar says. <laughs> stronger than it actually was. I did it. Now what were you going to say? He's dead. Star and we killed everyone! Yay! And your magic stain heart, and this is why. can have a project for you guys. I love Sombazai. Where do I... Where do I live? In the best drawer ever, I live 
even a sword of these? A question one hmm? or two. What what am I naming kid? It's it's one with two with with Aiden. Fax no printer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who wants to be kid? Is there anyone who wants to be kid? Alice! You want to be kid? Yeah. Yeah? Can I turn this button on? From the lights? Hmm? I want to turn this button on. It doesn't work. You've been pushing it the whole time and it didn't work. You want to be her? Yep. Yep. Better not let Alice die. It's fine. I'll just bench her. I can't. I can't name her Alice. Honey, my the guy I named me after stabs her later. So I can't name her after you. Uh, oh no! A girl is. Hmm. Um. A kid at the playground. Who did I even name her after the first time? Where do anyone live if i say question indeed <laughs> indeed I'm trying to think about who i should name her hmm hmm you got any ideas for a name what Coraline. Coraline. there's not enough room for Coraline. Cora. Corla. Corla. Coral. Coral. <laughs> I love that she's just saying it in the mic. Very cute. Ba 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 di ya ba. Thank you. There you go. We named her Coral. Where is Bad Dream? You gotta dream? Say, say, my name is Coral. My name is Coral. I can always walk and I think I can see anything. But I don't think anything. Where do I have a dink shirt? I think I can have something. What is this place? I think this is something. I think I could be in trouble with my heart. Where do I live on my straw? I live. How do I check my heart? Where do I see? I think I can see. Where is my food? I can check my questions, but I think I can. I have an idea. This is what I get. I think. Say bye, Coral. Bye, Coral. Oh, and she's leaving. We gotta play the sad music. She's going to Terminal. I want to play a different song on. You want a different song? Okay. What about this one? No, don't touch it. I'll play over there. You like this one? You want a different one? Hold on, let me see. You might like. This one? Mm -hmm. What about this one? Yeah. You like that one? Okay. I have 
having questions. Where does songs come from? Why can't I be sad? I look for my magic stick. She said, rise and shine. Rise and shine. I'm glad I found you. Dilly, right? Dilly, right? Dilly calls you out, right? <laughs> no. No. I can think. I can think. I can say anything. You're really someone else. You're really someone else. I want to help you. I want to help you. And you don't seem like a bad person. Not see a bad person. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. You're planning to go to terminal, right? You're planning to go to terminal, right? I have some errands to run over there. I've always known. I love Emily. I'm on my own. We're going with Misha. She did it. She joined the party. All right. Does anyone want Lena? Anyone who wants Lena? Georgie? <laughs> Georgie. Georgie, do you want to be my girlfriend? Damn, I'm right here. <laughs> he said, she said, yeah, oh. His number is black. Nah, 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 nah. I kind of like my card, dude. <laughs> you, you're keeping card, dude? Um... Um, Fang has a character. Fang has the mermaid. If no one claims the mermaid, I'll give it to Fang. I'm trying to think. Um, Shaman. Morgan's name her after Taylor. He's also a ginger. Rude. Dating my sister? Would you rather it be someone else? <laughs> I am. Say, wait for I. Me, I'm coming Wait too. for I with the toe. A field trip. A field trip. A field trip. It's field trip. What do we name the puppy? I get sneaky. What? That's your sister. Um, I can say the numbers. Pink 13. Oh my gosh, that's actually a good one. <laughs> Alice, guess what? Maybe pink 12. It, it's it's the one before red. Good timing. Good timing. 
<laughs> I just had the puppy on my world. Aw, big puppy. Well, just like that, we have a party. That was pretty fast. So we got white, blue, and yellow. I'm yellow. You're yellow? I would eat, I would I. Oh, your favorite color is yellow. Told me it was yellow the other day. Yellow is bigger. Uh, oh, that's why you like yellow. <laughs> what do you think about, do you like Raichu or Pikachu? Pikachu, okay. Yellow. Artist likes Raichu. Look! It's a Pikachu. Hmm? I see Eddie. Where is I? Pikachu, Pikachu, Pikachu. This is my stand. This is your stand? Oh no. I like what? Do I have any questions? Where do I have a lady? I have Florida, but I have a you have Florida? Florida, and I can have a Sargo. But I don't care what I want. You'd Alice, probably, guess who? You'd probably run it better if you had it. Where do I come from? Ah, I come from America, USA. Where? <laughs> Stop! I'm trying to see what this is. Don't walk know. away from me. Stop. Walk away from I me. I want to see what it is. Stop. Move away. <laughs> Say boogum. Boogum. Alright, you guys want to go get some cookies? Yeah, cookies! Right, like, come on, guys. Come on, let's go get some cookies real quick. Is this all done? Yeah, hold on, we'll go get a cookie real quick. I'm coming. Oh.
I didn't realize the music stopped. Does this track just finish? Love is always in the air, it's just that no one notices. Your mojo? I am Mojo, and I bring them good fortune them. Welcome! This, this can't be happening. How in the... I sense some kind of purpose. Seems like fun, so I will join them you. Oh, wait a second. There's um nothing drool about me. Just a word of advice. Stop on running and come face to face with your life. Ah. Uh. A messenger of love and courage I am, um. I'm lucky, I'm lucky, I'm lucky. Uh-huh, uh-huh. He's our good luck charm. Mojo, join them your party. All right, who wants them? Speak now. <laughs> who wants them? Is that the straw guy? Yeah, it is. I have my dude. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think. Because we named him Greg before. Hmm. Unsour? I named someone Unsour before, actually. Who? I, 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 Unsour had a character, I think. He gives off Kenny vibes? Chrono Cross first playthrough. That's right, Squishy. This is my first 40 second playthrough. I think I named him after like a puppy or something. You know what? Yeah, I think I think this works for Kenny. Back when Dom was a dog. Actually, wait. Let's let's name him Nerd. All right. So we've got we've got four party members already. I joke, I always see streamers put that in their stream when it's obvious it's not their first time. I hate it when I hate it when I'm watching a live porn and they do the same thing. They'll do the same shit where it'll say, you know, first time, and I know, I know that it's not their first time. You could tell by like using a simple arithmetic to gauge the size of everything on screen uh, to know that at least all right, um, I guess I gotta put my wife away so she doesn't die. The biggest risk right now needs to be nerd and pink, so. Clearly not. Way too professional, right? So, see, I'm the most important person in this run, so I need to keep myself alive. Ooh, ooh first time anal blasted by giant cock. Alright, 
what do I do now? Am I supposed to go somewhere? I don't remember. Just to let you know, I'm saving a lot because when you play the intro cutscene on this disc, it the game freezes. So I'm just doing it in case uh, we have a freeze down the road. All right, does anyone have any idea what I'm supposed to be doing now? Because I don't remember. Oh, check behind the waterfall, right? In the old days, many of my friends and fellow believers would come here to worship. It's quite lively, particularly during the festival seasons. I miss those days. Back when everyone was still alive. I remember this place. We can't let you in until our expedition's complete. Hey, Captain, found anything yet? Okay, well, we we tried. We tried to visit. I'm sorry, Jorky. I tried to look behind the waterfall. They won't let me. That's on them. I did my due diligence, my duty, if you will, as a streamer. Years ago, these falls were considered a holy place by the worshippers of the Divine Dragon Faith. And hordes of humans began to migrate to these islands, and we were pushed into the outlying regions. And the cultural takeover that ensued the spiritual significance of places such as this was soon forgotten. Just poor game development. Oh my gosh. You're telling me, brother. Well, now, you're an Arnie. What brings you here to this quiet seaside village? There isn't much ex excrement here, but please relax and stay a while. You think they shit in the ocean? Seven head Lucrezia behind a waterfall. That's solid game design. Disc three? What do you mean on disc? What happens on disc three? Tell me what happens on disc three. When do I get, um, kid? Kid just dead to me? Am I supposed to go through Fossil Valley now? Whatever, I'll just do it. All right, we're going in with our very first team. Um, I should probably check out elements, right? What do we got? What do we got? How does, how does this work? Elements. Allocates. Okay. So, um, pink is yellow and nerd is, uh, black. So we can give pink electro jolt. crazy birds are that like one shot you yeah there it is oh 
Shake it. We can't just shake it on back to the manor like this. We, we failed in our mission. That was awfully awful back there, Pepper. I want a rematch. Uh, b by the way, do you remember what kind of outfit he was shaking? Hmm. Just something justly like that, Pepper. Oh, you remember. So he looked like that, huh? Actually, it is him, Pepper. So you're sure about that? Wonderfully wonderful timing, Pepper. L let's shake it. We're really going to shake it to you this time. Now, this is the most Mario Party theme I've ever heard. I, I don't, I don't, I think it's the only time this theme plays. This time I made sure to bring a black element with me, Pepper. Good work. Well, shake it on up and attack him with it. Affirmatively affirmative, Pepper. Turn black. Oh. Oh, dearie dear. That was no black attack element you used just now, was it? It was a black element that makes your foe more susceptible to attacks of the opposite color attribute white, wasn't it? I'm afraid you're right. How terribly terrible. You did bring a white attack element with you, didn't you? If you didn't bring one with you, you're more stupid than I thought. Uh, how awfully awful. I'm afraid I didn't, Pepper. I can't believe he just turned me black. How funny would it be if we lost somebody here? Oh my god. They really want to kill Pink. I don't know how you miss a 94%. That's crazy to me. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> no. to Pepper yet. This is like the first damage we're doing.
Holy shit. Nerd is hanging on. Bro, this is supposed to be a tutorial fight. <laughs> what the fuck? Retreat! So let's shake it on out of here. Guys. I don't... I don't know what to say. Pink was in fact the member of the party. We just got Pink. And just as fast as Pink joined our party, we lost them to some bullshit RNG. Pepper and Salt could have attacked anybody else, but instead they chose to end Pink immediately. And it's now, my friends, that we have to say goodbye to our beloved Pink. So everyone, please take some time and offer up some respects to Pink 12 with me. Thank you, Pink. We'll never forget you. Bro, how shit was that, though? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god, we lost him so quick. So does he stay dead, though? He gets the one health back. Can we, can we swap now or do we have to swap out of the field or out on the field? Squishy, stop, okay? Look, I don't deserve this, all right? Now I have to put my wife in and risk her dying. No, 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 leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. I'm trying to figure out how this would work, because he gets the one health back. I guess I just... I don't want to, uh... Alright, yeah. Okay, so here, here's the rule. If someone dies, I immediately have to leave and replace them with somebody else. If I can't replace them with somebody else, and they have to stay in the party, then I will keep them in the party, and I will defend until that person is dead, and I can't attack until that character dies. How do you change characters? Would I rather someone revive Pink? No! Pink is so bad. Pink is like really weak.
Does anyone know how to swap members? Oh, I've never seen this. The Wonder Dog. Age? Unknown. F. It's uh, F for F for not knowing their age. Origin Arnie. Three foot eight. Two hundred and sixty-one pounds. Build Roly Poly. Dominant paw. Unknown. Six foot three. Build Wasteless. I'm 17. 128 pounds. Jesus. Light as a feather. Did it say 26? Oh, no, you're right. You're right. It, the, the LB was really close. Surprised they don't tell you blood types. Maybe you have to unlock that later. Two sixty one BS. Yeah, so I guess it's not it's not that bad. Cuz I'm pretty sure is is Poshal the one I named Dom after? Cuz I remember using him and him like dying like immediately cuz he's just so squishy. I think I have to get the teleporter. Is that is that what I have to do? Can I not do it yet? Uh, I just started the game, have Surge, Mojo, Poshul, Lena. I wanted to see what Mojo's like. I hate him. How do I switch him out? Go to the map or stand at the record of fate. Green Jewel, you can save your program. Then press square and choose teleporter. And change your partner. I, what? Press select button to change your character position? Whoa. Oh, I forgot about this. Um, I don't have a teleporter, though. How do you get the teleporter? When do you get the teleporter? You have to get that first? Teleporter. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh. So I don't get the teleporter until I get, <laughs> until I get Kid, Kid as the teleporter. I deserve this. I deserve this. I'd say not having the teleporter is like not having Pokeballs and a Nuzlocke. It's so stupid that you can't just switch. I thought... I know the teleporter is what you need to, to change them, but I think it's... It just doesn't make sense. Like, I thought you had to use that, like... I don't know. There should be somewhere you can go to switch them that doesn't require the teleporter. Where the fuck is Lena right now? What is she doing? What is she doing and where is she that I need to teleport her ass? Say you should allow to use the other characters even before Pink is killed. Otherwise, they could kill multiple of your characters and you can't heal the damage they do. Oh yeah, Termina. That's where I'm supposed to be going. I mean, I'll be getting Kid in a minute, right? I think, I think you get Kid now. Sorry, I'm totally out of bellflowers. There's a big ruckus down in Fossil Valley. Men from the Dragoons were setting roadblocks in the valley. I'll get some in a few days, so come back again then. You have my sincerest apologies. I understand we're here to protect you as Acacia Dragoons. 
Those knights should be done with their work shortly. Oh, that's all right. I can get my flowers from another place, too. Never mind that. I haven't seen Kosh around here lately. How's he doing? Well, he said he was going ghost hunting down south. I'm just a private, so I do not know for certain, but I heard a rumor that Lord Viper ordered him to go. A ghost? Now that's something. I just hope it's not the sign of a coming disaster. If you ever see him, give him my regards. I'll do that, and I'll be back too. There's ever a situation where a character dies, and right after the battle, you have to fight again without being able to switch characters. Being able to use the non-killed character will be essential. You could still force the defending with characters that have ever died. Yeah, so my, my problem with doing that is they're there and absorbing attacks. So they're like a meat shield, and they shouldn't be there if they die. You know, I, I, I don't... I don't know if anyone's done a Nuzlocke of this before, so I don't know if there's a rule set. I'm just kind of making shit up. Uh, welcome. Would you like to stay with us? One moment, please. <coughs> oh, yes. We have this room available. It's a hundred gal mm, gold gil gald. Do you wish to stay? I see. Please come again. Can I use this? No. It's not a teleporter. Can you self-attack? You can spend the first turn killing them off in battle, so even if they get targeted by the enemy, you still waste a turn at least. You can't self-attack in this game, I don't think. They're only absorbing one attack, probably, and the boss can end up upping its strength and then killing Surge over multiple turns. Yes. I ho yes, we did it. We just used the greeting we were taught by the hero, Pierre. We are visitors, vacationing from Poor. It's very beautiful out here, and the food is great. We've only got good things to say about this place. I guess we'll cross we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, because I, I think we'll be able to switch um, pink out momentarily. I don't know why I did that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I get I get easily distracted. Oh my gosh, cat guy, you're slow. You made me wait forever, make it a lovely lady like. You walk in a dog when you don't even know where the hell you are. Boy, you amaze me. Oh well, I guess it ain't such a bad idea you walk around clear up your mind a bit. Well then, have a bloody good time. Can I have the teleporter? That's a no. Alright, what do I what do I gotta do? Are there any recruitable characters here that I can get now? 
Master Viper, I'm here to polish your statue again. All right, all squeaky clean. It's got to be extra clean for the coming festivities. Have you folks come to see the Viper Festival? Termina is peaceful thanks to the watchful eye of our Master Viper. At times warm, at times strict, Master Viper watches over us always. But that said, of course, the real Master Viper resides in his manor along with his Acacia Dragoons. If you'll allow me to brag a little bit, I was invited to the manor a while back. It's a magnificent place. If there's a heaven on earth, that would be it. The manor is beautiful, and its design incorporates the surrounding terrain to its advantage, making it an impenetrable fortress. On top of that, there are powerful soldiers standing guard in front of the main gates that can destroy any monster with just one blow. Well, an upright citizen like myself might be invited to the manor's garden party, but not so for you folks. The most you will get is a cold reception from the gate guards. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what a fucking anal licking dweeb. All right, that's settled. We got a sneaky new viper man. You got to find out what the Casey Dragoons are up to, right? And why that cosh broke trying to capture you. I got some business there as well, so I'll deal along with you. How about it, Dilly? <laughs> okay. It's the obvious choice, right? According to Grandpa here, the Viper Man is a bloody big place, which also means it'll be easy to break into. We use TTS to do her lines. There gotta be more in a way uh, than one way in. We don't plan this right, it'll cost us our lives. Oh yeah, Dilly. I'll leave this in your hands just in case. It's a teleporter. Porter. A teleporter. It's a really handy gadget, it allows you to exchange party members from afar. The way you use it is, aw, oh, forget it, check it out for yourself. I hate explaining the details. Carl, join your party. Okay, here we go, we're putting potion- We're putting pink in the box. Who's in, Coral or Tay? Apparently, Corner Cross has some hacking support, too. I was looking for a save editor, but the save editor is from 2008. Maybe it's perfect. Maybe it's already perfected. Uh, I'm trying to think here. They're both very similar stat-wise. I think Tay's just a little, a little squishier. As far as health goes, I guess. Oh, I can't change my guy out? Oh, wait, I think you can change on New Game Plus. Ooh, that's gonna be weird. So if, if I die, I think I'll have to sacrifice somebody else to keep me alive. All right, and call me any time. Bob's your uncle, eh? Yeah, fuck off. I didn't dare equip. I didn't dare equip the fucking Catman thing, do. Uh oh, he's got all my stuff on him. Spatula cut twenty. A large spoon made from bone. Good for smacking children's bottoms too. Shit. All right, let's go see artist grandma. I think she's over here. Here she is. Yes, who might you be? Grandma, there are travelers passing through. My, my, so sorry. My eyes have become really weak in my old age, and I thought my grandson had come back. My grandson was such a cute boy. He was really plump and cheerful and loved to make people laugh. That's why the boy joined the circus to become a clown. For the first few years, he wrote letters to me almost daily. He always said how gratifying the work was, although it was very challenging. One day, his letters suddenly stopped coming. I haven't heard from him since. I hope he wasn't in an accident or something. I just pray I might see his cheerful face one more before the heavens claim my soul. Poor artist's grandma. All she wants to do is raise his blood pressure with delicious meals. 
Is that so much to ask? All right, Jorky, I need a list. I need a list of recruitable characters. Who can I get? How do I get them? I know about the, the people who are tied to like s the story decisions. Yahoo! Yeah, Yahoo! Hello there. Come and see for yourself. This is the prize of all prizes. A rare catch. A live mermaid. This is what you call a real treasure. Remember that, kids. Unfortunately, this one isn't for sale. She's my most valuable item. Oh my god, it's Fang652! So what do you think? This isn't some stuffed animal or anything. She's really alive. Her pure, clear skin, like it's made from crystal. Her gem-like eyes. The way she plays League of Legends. She's the ultimate collector's item. Whew. Nature's creations are indeed great. Such a beautiful thing. Is this thing really alive? Hey, come on, look over this way. <laughs> League of Legends players aren't really alive. Oh, that kid. There, there you are, Jorky. Hey, you. You think this is really fun? How would you feel if you were trapped in a tank like that? Being stared at every day, huh? Yikes, it's Korsha. Run! Korsha, not you again. Don't you go bothering my customers. This is no place for the likes of you. Just leave now. Just shut up. What customers? You're selling a bunch of bullshit. Why didn't you keep the tank uncovered when I showed up? Hey, everybody. This shop's a bunch of baloney. Sh shut your mouth. Uh, d d don't say such ridiculous things. Get back to your demi-human friends. Ha! I won't take that from a sleaze bag like you. Hey, you guys. You're not from around here, eh? Don't you wander around too much, you're gonna get burned. Just watch your back. Ow. Let me look for a better list. Talk about a trophy rifle. Tanks are just small pools. Wow. That's a big list. Oh, there's an order. There's white users, red users, black users, blue users, green users, and yellow users. Ooh. So you could like do runs of like just certain colors. The second and third part of this show the missable characters and how to get them. Okay, let me pull that up. The gamer, how to unlock every character. Bunch of characters who automatically join so I can ignore those. Characters who join automatically per certain decisions. I know these ones. Lena is the most missable character in this fucking game. It's insane how missable this bitch is. Mel. To get Mel, agree to help kid. Refuse to help. Agree to help kid. Not those ones. Okay, so we can pick from three different people to find a tour guide. Characters who require purely optional content. Georgie was snapped. That's it. That's it. I knew it was a weird name. Poshal. Are these in order? Lucia. Uh, Zappa. Miki. Okay, I think these are in order. Okay, this is good. This is good. Thank you. Thank you. The last 16 of Chrono Cross's 45 recruitable characters. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to leave this one up so I can see it. That's Korsha. He's from Goldove. I wonder why he hangs around here in Termina all the time. You shouldn't mess with the likes of him. I tell you, he's nothing but trouble. That seems a little racist. Ooh. 
What business brings you here? There are only shrines. You shouldn't disturb the resting place of the brave who fought valiantly. This is no place for outsiders to roam around. I don't mean to be harsh, but if you have no business here, leave now. Fuck you. I know what to do. I'll, I'll piss all over your hero's grave. Fuck your heroes. They can't be that strong. Right? So she was out of flowers. That's unfortunate. And let us pray without any flowers for today. Father. Brother. It's such a mystery. The sword never rusts, even when left in the rain. It seems as if the souls of its masters live within it. Do you not think so, Blen? Yes. I have engraved in my memory the lives of my father and brother, who had wielded the sacred sword, Einlanzer. Let us hope that is true. What do you mean by that? Miss Riddell, I cannot allow even you to... Do you not think there is something odd about the Dragoons of late? Daddy's face shows such anguish, and even Karsh was saying he was sent on a ghost hunt. Everyone has been acting oddly ever since that beastly guest arrived at the manor. Glynn promised me to always keep the unclouded truth in sight. We hate cloud in this dojo. Zack is much better. As you wish. <laughs> oh, forgive me. I just found it a little awkward to hear you say such words. Tee Miss Riddell, a chill wind has risen. Shall we return to the manor? Yes, of course. Hey, don't mind us. We just watching. Uh, your your father and brother dead? Yeah, we heard. We were we were watching. Yeah, they're dead. They're dead, dead though. Like not dying. They're dead. That's what the sword's all about. Gotcha. We were just we were just listening from right. I don't know if you saw us, but we was just we were just checking and listening beneath the sacred. Beneath the sacred sword, the warriors lie. Thirteenth Acacia Dragoon, Grand Master Garai. Fourteenth Acacia Dragoon, Grand Master Dario. And the fifteenth Dragoon, Muigi. Muigi? Wait, where did they go? They went down here. If they went up here, where did they go? Well, they disappeared. And that guy rushed and hit it as soon as I got there. It was a hilarious sight. Actually, hold on. I got I got a good voice for water people. Sorry, did I just say water people? That's that's so racist. Where is it? There's so many voices here. Got it. Found it. Hold on. I hope I hope he talks again just so I can do this. Oops, I've got customers. Sorry, I'll get you some big fish next time you come by. All right, Korsha. But is it really going to be big this time? You only ever catch small fry. Your boating skills are first class, but your fishing sucks ass. 
Ah, uh, shut up. Bye. Oh, it's you guys. You're tourists, right? The festival's a waste of time. My name's Korsha. I'm here from Goldove, working as a ferryman. I can take you anywhere you like with this boat. I take money, but don't worry, it's not that much. My boating skills are quite famous around here. I guarantee a comfortable ride. Then how about Viper Manor? As long as you can pay me, I'll take you anywhere you want, babe. It's just that I don't know how to get to the manor. If you want to get there, bring someone who does. Okay, is this where we get Rico? Can we get Rico now? Rico? 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 Give him the people's elbow, Rico? You know, if if Rico had a uh, if Rico was in the WWE and he had a wrestling a wrestling special move, what would it be? Oh, dude, it'd be some shit like hats off. No way. What? You can pick up these weights? Why? Why can you do this? This is wild. Look at it, dude. We're exercising. I never knew those weights were there. I was just, like, tapping the button. I'm sorry. Great goes out on an errand to Fossil Valley. Please come back a little later. All right, we're working out. Let's go. Actually, if I switch characters, does it... Oh, you can't switch characters while you're holding. I'm taking these. I own these weights now. The Shiner. He would also do the Canadian Destroyer actual move. <laughs> Insane you said that to me. The Canadian Destroyer. Ooh, woo. <laughs> I'm ooing, I'm wooing. You've got me ooing and wooing, boys. Smithy? Oh my god. The bad guy from Mario RPG is here. Welcome! This here is the official blacksmith of the Acacia Dragoons. We carry only the best goods. Come and take a look. Blacksmiths. I'm about to disassemble so much shit, dude. Actually, I take it back. I'm not, because I don't know what I'm doing. It's not time for this. It's not time for this, right? It's not time for this. Forge weapons. Oh my god. Look at all these weapons I can forge. Armor. Can I form... I, I might actually have to use this system that I've never used before. I've never bothered to figure that shit out. We could make stronger items if only we had iron. Yeah, how many times do I have to say it? Didn't I let the last customer back in here? How many years have you been, my wife? Zippa Zappa's wife. <laughs> Zippa Zappa's wife. What's a big ape like you doing worrying about such trivial stuff? Don't you be complaining up a story more for just one or two customers coming to talk to you. There not be just one or two, but three. Ah, you'll never ken the delicate heart of a craftsman like yours truly. Get the fuck out. Ah, uh, didn't I expect a layman like you to ken up what I'm a saying? Ah, uh, but ah. Uh, the art of smithing may seem only like physical labor, but it requires far more mental prowess. It's true. Have you ever tried to smith anything? Like, for real? Uh, 
Ah, uh, why can you not leave me be? This sword is no good now. Time to start over. Okay, we have a ch we have a choice now. There are three characters that we can get to take us to the mansion. Only one of those three will come with us. There's um So there's this guy, Pierre. What who do we get on our first run? We got um we got Nick was it Nikki? We got Nikki. Okay, so there's Nikki, the rock star. There's Pierre, who is this guy. And then there's Guile, who is the scrapped Magus character. And I think he's one of the best characters in the game. Yeah, Guile's one of the best characters in the game. I have never had Pierre in my party in my life. And the last time we played, I got Nikki because I couldn't remember how to get anybody else. And I, and I got Nikki. Is there any preference? Guile, then? So you're saying I should get Pierre. I mean, he's right there. Look at him. Look at him. He's so saucy. Look at that hat. That's a hat Rico would wear. I love Magus, so I'll say go Guile. I don't know. Maybe we should look up a list of top five Chrono Trigger characters. And if Magus is at the top, then we pick Guile. It's got to be Watch Mojo. Or we could spin a wheel. <laughs> do we leave it up to fate? Or do you guys want to pick? I'd go with Pierre if he'd be new. He'd be totally new. Wheel of characters. All right, that makes it easier on everybody. Um, wheel of names. All right, so we got Hat Hat Boy. We got Magic Man. And then we got uh, Emo Guitar Band Sex Machine. Oh. Uh, guitar Sex Man. Okay, here we go. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Who is it? Someone tell me with TTS. Who is it? I'm not looking until someone TTS is it. Georgie, spend your points, you cheap fuck. I pro I'm not going to look. Magic man. Hey! <laughs> well, that's a good spin. Goodbye, hat man. You can't, why can't you do TTS on your computer? What are you talking about? What do you want to fucking. You want to, uh, what are those, what are those, uh, calculators called? You want a TI-36 over here? Twitch mobile being annoying. Give me a sec. I was in another window and I also wasn't sure where the TTS option was. Where is it? Hold on. Hold on a second. It's in the points, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay, I'm wondering. I'd have to make it 100 to put it more near the top. It's on, for me, it's one, two, three. I kind of wish after you did first and not first, they would disappear. 
I, I like to have them be more concise, because I hate scrolling through these, too. It's a pain in the ass. Twitch won't let me scroll down and see the redeems below the first row unless I'm on mobile? You're joking! What? That's crazy. Was it because you're using Adblocker? Maybe Adblocker's doing that to you. It was new for me? Was it a new point redeem? My name's Guile. Here, let, let's set a voice for him, guys. What, what do you want? What do you want Guile's voice to be? Magic chords? It's gonna be Guile's voice. My name is Guile. What do you think? Is this the one? Or we could do this one? My name is Guile. So is Punk? Speech Jammer? Sleepyhead? Artist already has a character. Nat in here. Maybe the Chad voice? Oh my god. Hold on, let me find it. I'm gonna keep the background music too. The do 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 do. <laughs> Where is it? It looked creepy doll. What the heck? Where is it? Is it gone? I think it's, oh, there it is. God, I was so scared for a minute. I don't want to lose Giga Chad. My name's Guile. I'm having a certain bet with the fortune teller by the bridge. If I can bring the item of proof from the manor within a week, I'll win. If I can't, I'll lose. But as there's a trick behind any mysterious magic. There's no such thing as an impregnable fortress in this world. A toast to my coming peanut butter and jelly. Hmm. She so had business of the matter as well. Interesting. Gambling's a lot more interesting with higher stakes. What we need now is a seasoned sailor and a sturdy boat to cross the rough waters. If you can't find one, leave the rest to me. I'll guide you to Viper Manor. What will it be? Guile enigmatically joined your party. Alright, who's Guile? Who's gonna be Guile? Anybody. Anybody, speak up. If you want him, or I'm just gonna name him Fruit Pancake. See, the issue is, uh, Georgie wants Sneff. Artist already has a character. You have a character. Rico has a character. We need somebody else. I would just name him after whoever I did last time I played this, but um, we didn't have Guile last time. I think we got Nikki and we named him Glue. And Gluthix doesn't come here anymore. <laughs> Gluthix doesn't like me anymore. Me. You got me. <coughs> A jerky tried to assassinate me. <coughs> we ain't missing. <laughs> I'm actually dying. <coughs> um, Guile is one of the best characters in the game. He's very good. He's probably like the second best character. <coughs> Oh, that was rough. <clears throat> oh, I might need to take a minute. Whew, there's definitely water in my lungs. AJ, you want him? I'll name him Not Fun.
Perfect. I mean, fuck it, why not? Let's go, dude. Alright, uh, just like that, we have... We have five characters now. One dead. <coughs> and... Ooh, wow. Yeah, he's not... Ooh. He's actually not so great. He's got a lot of health. Yo, let's do it. Once you find a boat, leave the rest to me. I'll guide you. I believe the fortune teller said the target for the bed is located in the manor's mess hall. Welcome to the Dragon's Tale. Our house is open to all, but we don't allow any tabs or brawls. Put your feet up and have a grand time. Be bad and it's spanking time. You're travelers, aren't you? That's okay. I can tell by the way you look. So what do you think of Termina? This port town just loves travelers. <clears throat> I love this town and all of its people, whether they are residents or travelers. More? That's all you eat. Try some of the other dishes, will ya? <laughs> the better tasting it is, the faster I eat it up. Jeez, right when we were in the middle of a good conversation. Well, fuck that conversation. I'm out. <laughs> fuck that bitch, I'm out. <laughs> fuck that bitch, I'm out. Uh -huh. Alright, so now we can go to... Uh... <sighs> I feel like we should do some prep. <clears throat> Okay, so in battle, people need to use elements according to their uh, innate, okay? So, Surge can only use white, and um, Nerd can only use dark. But outside of battle, I will I will have healables uh, be usable, regardless of element. <clears throat> We need more Not money. Not fun here. Don't let my name fool you. Let me guide you instead. <clears throat> guide you to all gay SMS. Come lot out. <laughs> Why? Why, SpongeBob? Why? Okay. So, unfortunately, Kenny and Not Fun cannot use anything because they're innates. Or, like, stuff we don't get for a while. So, like, I can't even use any of these elements. So, it might be best to put a blue in the party. And I think Tay is blue. I did say Kenny. Yeah, that's Nerd's name. Nerd stop. People can use other colors, right? What do you mean? <clears throat> okay, so we've got... Kid is red, and Tay is blue. Aw, oh, man. I really don't want to put her in the party, but she would be the only healer we have, and I feel like we need her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick, I'm gonna stick with Kenny. We got 12 tablets. That should, that should be enough, right? Red and Nate can use blue and stuff, but can only use red summons. No, they can only use red. Everything. Red can only use red 
Yellow can only use yellow. They can't use any other... They can't use anything outside of their color. Are you... No, I'm. that's my rules. They can... I mean, it says it right up there. Can no one read that, man? It's right there. I swear. I put it in big letters, big, big words at the top. I guess it does. I guess it's it's fine that I took my goals down from up there because nobody read them, apparently. Back again, eh? I'll take you wherever you want. Then how about, um, Viper Manor? As long as you can pay me, I'll take you anywhere you want. It's just that I don't know how to get to the manor. You want to get there, bring someone who does. I shall guide you there. Are you sure you can get into a place like that? Yes, trust me. All you need to do is prepare the boat. You got it, but it'll cost ya. It's gonna be a hundred G's. Billy paid Korsha a hundred Jesus Christ! Come on, get on board! It's a little tight with four of us, but it'll be a short trip. Don't you worry about a thing. I feel like I'm severely underestimating what I'm getting into here in Viper Manor. I remember Viper Manor being a, uh, a fucking, a tough go on a regular play playthrough. <laughs> Maybe I should grind. I read. Doesn't mean I know what's going on, though. Okay, that's fair. Hey, those guys didn't listen to me. Jeez. <laughs> wow, it's Korsha's boat. Don't you think it's pretty dangerous? Wow, this is this is AJ, huh? Uh, I feel like this is what this is exactly what he'd say. We'll make it. Lily um, let's go on. It's pretty dude, fuck you. <laughs> go, go stream. Fuck you. Shut up. <laughs> huh? Intruders? Begin stone toss. Holy shit. I should have brought more of these.
Oh shit, this is like Xenoblade, right? No, this is a good game. Yeah, this this is a good game. This is fun. So they're vastly different. You know what? You're right, man. I'm sorry, Silver. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have come at you like that. I mean, just because uh, your game is bad, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have just outright told you your game's bad. You know, I should. I should be more, you know, self-aware. You know, so a bit more self-conscious than when I'm when I'm discussing horrible games. Nah, throw them hands up. Are we partying? Is it a party? You weren't here! You weren't here when I played Xenoblade Chronicles, were you? That was my low point. Xenoblade Chronicles sucks! It eats some hard fucking ass! That game sucks and I'll never play again! that treasure chest. So, I played that game, right? Man, brother, was that game rough. I... First of all, I didn't like Shulk, so I kept switching him out the party, right? And the game actively punished me the whole game for doing that. And there was this one time I fought a really strong enemy. I fought a really strong enemy, right? And I beat it after like an hour of fighting it, and I felt really good. I was like, oh yeah, I did it. And I got 10 experience. 10 experience points for beating an hour long like a hard boss because I did it a little too early for the game like not you being horrible but <laughs> I forgot you were there for that it was um <clears throat> yeah that game was probably one of the not I wouldn't say like the worst game I've ever played on stream, but it was like it was like it was like it was a, a it was the most passable worst game I've ever played, you know? Like there are games that are just like bottom of the barrel, super bad garbage like I Ninja. Like no one should ever play that game in their life. And then there was that which was like, you know, it, it was definitely a game. Oh, hey, look. Finally, something I can use. It's definitely a game you could play, but not a game I'd recommend to anybody ever, if I like them. That's only the first one. Maybe they're better after that. I don't know. Like I might like the I might like other ones after that. I would give you only because Xenoblade doesn't explain itself very well. What the fuck? Um. Hmm. I don't think it was about explaining itself, dude. It was. It was um. It was pretty shit.
Yeah, the world, empty. The side quests, empty. The combat, emptier. Oh, I forgot. We have uh, we have abilities we can use. Oh my god, I could have been doing this the whole time. I we probably could we could, we could have kept the puppy. Oh look, I learned Comet already. Look, guys, I already know Comet. God damn! He hit that bitch. We won the run early. Now we just need to get the quad materia. Cast it four times in a row on somebody. Hmm. No, dude, I've played this before. This is a this is a challenge run. Squishy thinks it's a first playthrough, though. Squishy says everything's a first playthrough if you're brave enough. What determines when that, how that guy attacks you? What's the challenge? I don't know. Huh. What could the challenge be? Huh. Weird. What could it be? I don't know. I forgot, honestly. If only there were big pink letters that told me. Don't expect me to read, I play Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, the opponent's supposed to read, not me! That's their job! You have never done this specific save file before. True! And I saved twice! What's reading? Okay, reading is that... Okay, Rico. Reading is that thing... Um, okay, uh, how do I explain this? You know when you're looking at Boku no Pico and you're going through the pages and looking at everything? That's reading. Uh-oh. Oh no. Why do bees nests do so much damage? I'm not dying to a fucking bee, dude. Not today! <sighs> Have you ever been stung by a bee? Um, no, I haven't. Never. And I won't get stung because one day they'll all be extinct. But that wasn't a sting, he farted on me. He used fart wind. It do hurt. Uh, Georgie told me about how he cried once because he got stung by a bee.
hell? Motherfucker. This guy, this guy is fucking... I don't want to fight him, man. The way he's been throwing those boulders, dude, this guy's gonna kill me. Oh, I wish I had healed. Missing 91%? Missed three 91%s in a row. That's crazy how that works, huh? Teleport magic wand into... Oh, I am... <laughs> I'm doing that. This is definitely a Georgie spell. Now look in your butthole. Surprise! <laughs> the ultimate game of peekaboo. More like peekapoo. Get it? Because he shit himself. I'm ulting, dude. I'm just ulting now. Oh, I wish I'd remembered this earlier. That we could use these. I ulted. Is that... Does that make me a Final Fantasy XIV player? We've reached the new level growth. A straw guy has three candles on his head. What a maniac! Have some of this. Oops. Shit. Huh? Uh-oh. Bird people from Earthbound. Oh, no. Alright, give me one second. I'll be right back.
Thanks for the Nuzlocke command. Oh. Oh. Okay. <sighs> well, now there's no more boulders. Maybe I can get all them treasures. I mean, if I found a meteorite in one, the other one's got to be worth it, right? I don't know. I don't want to die to two wind spells. Oh, I really should have made some fucking armor, huh? Oh, fuck. This treasure chest better be worth it. doesn't heal outside of battle, does it? <laughs> so I don't think you can die from poison outside of battle. If it stays, because I, I don't know. Mr. Eckerd. So what's free fall? Uh, set trap to catch free fall element. Oh yeah, I forgot about these. The traps to catch catch other elements. I don't think I don't think I ever used that command either. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Fuck. Oh ass. Ass and balls. What are you up to, Eckerd? I don't think I don't think I should go to that. Oh no, it's a bat. Oh the bat. Oh no, he's tracking again. Hating myself playing Tekken 8. Fucking wow. Big factoids. Oh, I don't know what to do. I have no way to heal poison. And I am slowly dying. I, I think I have to run back. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to head back and, and heal and buy a bunch of curing shit. Oh, no. There's a bee there that I didn't fight. I don't know how I got away with not fighting that one. Are you shitting me? Man, Eckerd, I'm hating myself for different reasons right now. I, I was not prepared for uh, for how tough this was gonna be. Fighting the first enemies, and I'm I'm on the brink of death every five seconds.
And you know what? I just remembered. These battles mean nothing, too, right? I'm pretty sure you get, like, you only level up from big... I got an antidote! Hold on a second! Oh! And I'm almost out of tablets already. Horrendous. Horrendous gaming. So we got Red Mo Man, King Mo Man, and Blue Mo Man. Even though this is a uh, female. Oh, how do I do this? I feel like I should fight this guy first. Because I could probably take him out quick, since I can use dash and slash against him. I'm going to do that. No, come on. All right, hit him with the meteorite. I cast the meteor, which is actually apparently a uh, white materia. Oh, please stop. No, 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 please, no. No, no, no. Don't do that. These are things I don't like. And I can't use Voodoo Dance on him. It wouldn't be good. All right, let's... Let's get rid of the Strengthen guy, I guess. It's so funny because in a in a casual playthrough, I don't even remember these fights. Like they're just like nothing to me. But now, they're everything. Crap! Ah oh, shit! I brought the wrong. I brought the wrong people to this fight. Okay, it's still still not too bad. We can almost kill this guy. You've made every fight a challenge. <laughs> Cause there's not that many characters and there's a lot of fights we have to do. That's 32 damage. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> For fuck's sake.
please, other guy, don't use a special big guy. Do I have anything else? I have nothing else either. I might be resetting the run already. Dude, I was about to say, fucking die, brother. Oh, uh, big guy's still not even limping. I should have defended. I should have defended. I'm, 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 I'm flustered. I'm flustered. I'm making misplays. <sighs> Luckily, they're like, they're still like spacing out their damage. He just... What an asshole. I'm realizing that... Oh, no. What is that? Oh, please? Please tell me it's not as strong as it looked. For fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. You cheeky bastard. Motherfucker. If you're gonna kill anyone, take take nerd. Sorry, Kenny. This is not the time to be missing. Apparently, I've just made a huge mistake doing this. It, it, because I, I guess attacking him when he's about to die, he flies up, so you can't hit him anymore. He's got another gravity blow. Is AJ dead? Oh, he hit Kenny? How many gravity blows does he have in stock? Still not, still not red? Still not in red? Oh no! Oh no! Oh brother, this guy stinks! It's, it's someone's gonna die. If he's got another gravity blow, actually no, a regular hit kills. Oh. Can he kill this fucker? Yes. Now what do we do? I, I we can't hit him. Oh, he's got all black too. The whole field is black. Bro, he's cheating! Not free fall! No! Kenny! 96!
He has so many spells. I think I'm dead. I th if he did 96, 88 damage. They were, th <laughs> they were the same. They were the same innate ability and it still did 96 damage. Thus the life force called Dilly was not even allowed to be born into this world. Fate has no forgiveness for those who dare stand against it. Bro, I lost to, I've lost to fucking bird people. Oh my god. I I think that's a that's just a that's a dead run. I just got to restart now. Okay, I'm trying I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to think. So do I restart the run or do I just I'm trying to think if I restart the run completely or if I backload to a save because I think the save I was at isn't too far from me, like, getting anything. I could kill a character and continue. I'd rather not. I'd rather just start over, honestly. I mean, I, I guess I could, but I only have two people. I only have two people. And I'm killing Kid, so <laughs> I gotta kill Kid. Let me, let me see where these saves were. So I saved. <sighs> so I saved. I saved outside of Termina. But I had already lost. I had already lost pink. Make it hard, but not insane. Well, look, that fight is doable. I just didn't have. The people who could have the spells that they needed. And I'm trying to think about how this works. So as far as like, if I, if I went out and grinded killing people, right? That's not going to get me anything. Like I think what it'll give me like one HP every fight or something. So I'd have to do like, I'd have to do a lot of fights. I think uh, I'd have to make armors and stuff, but this is just so early in the game. It gets you a bit because there are mini star battles. Yeah, the, the star battles are the most important thing. I'm trying to think. There's the Komodo dragon fights. I want to say, like, if I get past the Komodo dragon fights, I do a save there. And, or well, when I get the first character, I should do a save there. That way I can always start the run from that save. Instead of doing all of the intro pieces and the Komodo dragons and all that. Because I don't think we need to do that every single time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I kind of want to restart now. Because when I did the fights, I didn't think about the abilities that they start with either. So that was, that was a huge problem. Me not using those abilities and dying, to, losing to salt and fucking pepper. All right. I'm going to do a new one. I'm going to get to where I can make that save. I hope you're ready for this one. I Snado. Thanks for the bits. <laughs> I'm invested in this run. Ben this time? You think so? I guess I'd feel less bad about him dying.
I like how the cursor sounds like uh, Kirby, right? Fuck, dude. Wow. What a... Wow. So, like, when I, when I played this game casually, I have never thought about innate abilities and, like, the abilities you start with and, like, the, uh, the field effect. I might actually have to worry about that the entire game because that's why those spells were so strong because I used black skills and he used black skills and no one disrupted. So he was doing, like, triple damage. Well, not, it's not triple, but... It's big thonkin. That's right. We actually have the game. Dude, imagine getting super far into the run and then losing there. Oh my gosh. This might be a... I've done a lot of games on here. And I've done I've done a decent bit of challenges. But I've never done one where I have to start from the fucking beginning. This might be like the first game that actually challenges me to do the attempts over and over again until I win. Because like even when I did Pokemon Nuzlocks, I usually beat them the first one. Can I just get this one? Can I get this guy? I'd rather have them as they are right now instead of having to go through the whole game to get them. I wish I had more elements available to me too. If if I could go back to that, I would put Kid and Tay in the party. Tay would have Cure and Kid would have Tablets. It'd be Stop. that would be that would be my play. So I'm not sticking around because you had another game on my wish list to play, but I just want to say I was here for the vibes. Oh, love y'all. Thanks, Kenny. I just absorbed your essence. You should make lots of save files if you want to try different strategies. I guess you're right. I should I should probably swap memory cards to something that's empty. Work sucked today. It was just busy and never slowed down. Mm, I feel you. Sorry, man. I feel like you buy pictures of Fluji's now. Should, like totally do this series soon for it, eh, Ben? <laughs> you're right, mate. You've been acting a little weird. No, it's not bad. You just say how you chose, eh? Cheeky, cheeky, blah, blah, not yeah.
So yeah, I think Hero said something about the Nuzlocke starting at Teleporter. I don't think it needs to start at the Teleporter. I think it starts after we go to Otherworld. When we go to Otherworld, the Nuzlocke starts. Even if you're... Why? Whatever. I like to think a ghost controls Lucky. I want you to know that is set to 10%. That is only supposed to go off like 10% of the time that I say it. And it's just Lucky. And it does it every time. Either it's broken or I don't know. I'm about to show you. Actions. Lucky. Fuck your face. It has a point five. Okay, hold on. I am I am gonna change that to point one though. Point one. Point nine. Lucky. I think I fixed it. <laughs> Lucky. There, maybe I fixed it. I don't know. We must be getting lucky, boys. We're getting lucky tonight with this one. We're getting lucky. We're getting fucky. <sighs> All right. I'm going to share something deep and personal with you guys, all right? <laughs> so, you guys remember that, that time I had to take away from streaming, right? So, what happened was... Um, it, it's weird I'm saying this. I'm sure everyone here knows. Everyone here knows. I've, I, everyone here I probably told in DMs, but... Some stuff happened, and I won't say what happened on the other side, but um, I got... So I've got custody of all my kids, and I used to not have custody of all of them. It was... I have three kids, and two of them for, were for my first marriage. And the two of them, uh, we kind of like split... We basically split the time between the both of us. So they'd be with her, they'd be with me, and it was like, you know... It was like... It was like having one and a half kids. So it was like, um, I know it sounds weird, but it was like less of a financial burden, you know, cause they'd be taking, we'd be taking turns. Like they'd eat at her house. They'd eat at my house. They'd sleep at her house. They'd sleep at my house. So everything was like cut in half, but then some stuff happened over there. And now they're with me. So since December, I have been full time taking care of them, paying like, all the bills, uh, we, we buying all the food, you know, all of our utilities went up like crazy. Uh, you know, buying stuff for school and all this jazz. It's been very tough. And then like, even like streaming, like I come in here, like I just had to walk away because my wife was like, you know, disciplining them. She was, she was yelling at them because they were all fighting. And, you know, because they're all together now, so they're, they're fighting more. What I'm hearing is we need to make you a successful YouTuber. <laughs> I just... It's not that. I just... Ugh. I don't know. So it, it's hard for me to, like, sit in here and do this sometimes. Because they need me out there a lot. Because uh, things get crazy when I'm not, like, telling everyone what to do. So being a successful YouTuber would be great. So I could, you know, make more money. But that's that's where that's where this problem comes for or comes from with me, is that I'm not getting any help. There's she she does nothing to help. 
So it's it's just all on me and my wife to take care of everyone, which is fine. You know, they're my kids, but it's just it came out of nowhere. It happened out of nowhere. Like we weren't prepared for it. And like it's it's a lot more than we ever expected it to be. So that's why I'm at I'm I'm also at a fragile state of mind when it comes to like to anything. Anything. I'm just like, oh god, you know? So we've been we've and it's the same for her. So we've been going through a very tough time dealing with a lot of like heavy changes. It's hard to stream and it's it's even tougher to sit down and make those videos i gotta i gotta put a lot of time into that a lot of time that i gotta spend on other stuff so like there's also on top of it i'm going to court all the time I'm talking to lawyers all the time i'm talking to uh the kids counselors all the time for the counseling they need i got a cure hot So that's why I was kind of like, oh man, earlier when I was like, uh, you know, talking about the, um, the stream and stuff. So today is the affiliate anniversary and I expected it to be like, you know, big bombastic, like, you know, party and stuff. And I don't know, the streams have been dying off, like ever since COVID ended. Like, uh, my numbers, like, for, like, viewership, retention, like, low. Very low. And it's like, I mean, you guys, you guys should know. Most, most of the people here, or who are active chatters, are people who have always been here. Very rarely do we get, like, new viewers or get promoted or anything. So, it made me think, like, ah, oh, damn, do I really want to keep doing this? Because when I stream this, like, when I stream runs like this... They take double the time. So, like, I have to... Now I have to do this. I'm gonna start giving... <laughs> so I have to I have to do this every time I stream instead of every time I can offline. Because, like, if I did this offline, I would just plug it up in the living room and I could play this, like, next to the kids and stuff. But I think most of the funny stuff that goes in the videos happens on stream... So, you know, I just, I just, it, it needs to be, uh, more worthwhile for me to, like, keep doing it, you know? I'm not saying I need to make, like, a ton of money off of people. That's, that's not what I'm getting at. I'm, I'm saying, like, I need, I need Twitch to, like, promote me or YouTube to promote me so that, like, more people come here and I make more ad revenue. But I make, I can make money off of ads. Holy shit, man. Balderdash. I'm gonna die. Become extremists for dill streams. Seems viable. Yeah. <laughs> and... Oh, he used cure. Okay. Well, I guess that's outside of battle, so I can accept that. Ben collected Komodo scale. He stored it safely away. Dude, I've been an extremist. He really has. Georgie really has been an extremist. Now, Georgie was an extremist before I was even doing this by myself. Percentages aren't a real thing, by the way. They don't exist. Why do 
don't have my skill yet? When the fuck? What? When do I learn it? I tend to keep streams on but muted because you're always playing games I haven't gotten around to yet. Including this one, actually. See, and that's the crazy thing. A lot of people say that. But, like, you know, what am I supposed to do about that? Just only play games that I know people have played? Any game I play is going to be, like, something someone hasn't played somewhere. Like, a lot of the time. Like, almost everything I play, there's always, there's always at least three people who are like, Oh, I haven't played that. So I'm not going to watch. And even, and it's even, it's even like, it's a, like the 30, 20 year old game. People still haven't played it. And it's like, you know, what am I, even if I play a new game, people don't want to see that either because it's a new game. So it kind of like traps me in this loop of what am I supposed to do about anything? I haven't played like 90% of the games you play because I don't like RPGs. <laughs> I'm not a good enough gamer to get to them all. It's just a risk of any game you play. Yeah, no. But it, there's there's like another thing that happens too. So there's people who will also say like, oh, but you stream when I'm working. And then like, I can stream when they're not working too. And then I still don't see them or they come up with another excuse why they can't. Especially because like a lot of people who watch are streamers. So if I stream when they're, uh, when they're, off of work, they're streaming. Lucky me, I don't mind spoilers. Yeah. I mean, even if I skip stuff, I guess there would still be spoilers. So I have a hard time finding what to do and what people will watch, you know? And then even in the end, I could find the perfect game, the perfect challenge, the perfect time, and then I still won't get promoted anywhere. Like, it's even pretty rare now for me to even get a raid. But I guess that's probably because I stopped raiding people too. But I, I stopped raiding people because like, after I raid people, Nothing, nothing comes from it most of the time. People people don't follow, people don't stay in chat. It's usually because they're done. So I feel bad and I stop doing it. I don't raid you because I have like one viewer. Like, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know how you, uh, Twitch's algorithm works. I don't even know how YouTube's live algorithm works. Like, the live side of YouTube is kind of trash too. Like, people will show up if it's like a clickbait title with a clickbait thumbnail. And Twitch? I don't know, man. I've never gotten Twitch to work in my favor. I think the only time I ever had Twitch work in my favor with like random people raiding me was this. I played this a long time ago and that was the most I've ever been raided. Most like follows I've ever gotten and it was playing this randomly it was just like a random playthrough of it because I wanted to but I love this game which isn't why I wanted to play this this is like my fourth choice in challenge there were three other challenges I tried to do but I couldn't I here I'll show you I got this out. This is my DDR dance pad. It's keyed out, of course. So my Dance Dance Revolution dance pad, I was trying to play uh, Dark Souls. I could not get it to work. I tried to use Joy to Key, still wouldn't work. I tried everything I could to get this fucking dance pad to work. I watched a bunch of guides. I, I read a bunch of posts on people who got it to work and I could not get this to work. I could get it to work like, I could select stuff on Steam, but I couldn't play Dark Souls. Like, the uh, the controls just wouldn't work in Dark Souls. 
That was my first choice. I was going to do that, but I could not get it to work no matter how hard I tried. I spent four hours trying to do that. Then I looked into voice command. There's a thing called voice attack. I was going to use that and play a game and give give it uh, audio controls. And then try that. But that costs money, so I didn't get it. I think it's like $10 for a license. But yeah, dude, I can't even afford 10 bucks. <laughs> Life's rough. So uh, that was the second one. And that didn't have a game. That was just like, did you try Dark Souls in offline mode without Steam on? No, I didn't. We could try and run it later. But I did get it to work. I got every button to work. Like, I was able to push the buttons and get them to work on, but whenever I would pull it up, it would not work in the actual game. Steam has that weird controller override, so I could see that getting in the way. I was using that. I was using the Steam input to input all of the buttons, and it's still, like, I couldn't even, like, select. Um, so that was that. The voice command thing, and then... What was the other thing? Uh, the third thing was... I feel like I'd have it set up somewhere. Oh, bongos! Yeah, the DK bongos. Um, there was a game on my shelf I saw, and I was like, I could play it with DK bongos. And then I just was like, I don't want to set that up. Setting up DK bongos is such a fucking pain. It might have been Elden Ring or something. Or did you try windowed mode instead of full screen? I didn't do anything with Dark Souls itself. I just did a bunch of stuff with Steam, so. But I spent a long time doing it, and that's why I just eventually gave up. There's a mosquito in here. Yeah, and I think as much as as fun as I think the Persona 5 challenge is going to be, I really think that's something I'm going to have to do offline. That's going to take so long. That's a long fucking game. Persona 5 gave me a mental breakdown. I have so many cures now. This run is already infinitely better because now I have so many cures. I could just uh, line Tay up with like four cures. And there's, I realized when I started playing, there's a lot about Persona 5 I don't know. Like, I found out that day that Persona 5 doesn't even have an arcade. And confidants have skills, I forgot about that. So, like, a big part of that 
would be uh, increasing people uh, for certain skills and not doing others. Yeah, it was royal. Royally fuck. Mm. I've never played royal, so that's new to me. Oh, never mind. I remember what the challenge was. It wasn't DK Bongos. It was Solo Lavitz. Yeah, that's what it was. Uh, I downloaded Severed Chains, and that their solo still doesn't work, even though it says it works. Yeah, I downloaded it, and I tried to play it, and it didn't work. And then I was like, ugh, do I really want to do Dragoon Modifier again? Because, like, as much as I love the Kongol run, it took a lot of effort to put Kongol into most of those fights. Like, constantly switching people. Not my kids letting mosquitoes in here. I got my yard sprayed for mosquitoes and they're still fucking around. Mosquitoes terrify me? Why? Do you imagine their little needles that poke you as rusty or something? Why am I doing automatic 99% now? What is going on here? Death to all of them. If you could choose to get rid of one. You get rid of one permanently and the others... Uh, overpopulate ten times what they are now. Mosquitoes or bees? You're basically fucking mosquitoes. Goku is shook. I will take the mosquitoes. That's insane. I would. I would take. Wait, wait, when you say you'll take the mosquitoes, what do you mean? You're saying you'll take ten times the mosquitoes, or you'll get rid of them? Ten times mosquitoes, of course. I would take- I'd take the bees, honestly. Cause like, ten times mosquitoes? I don't even want to know what that looks like. The bees, though? I mean, at least they serve a fucking purpose. Did I miss a... Did I miss a scale? Oh, wait. Did I even... Did I talk to her on the beach? Or, I didn't even talk to her on the pier. Look, a phobia is a fucked up thing. No, man, I've heard. I don't think I could understand a phobia, because I don't think I have a true phobia. If that makes sense. Like, I'm scared of stuff, but there's not... I don't think there's anything that I'm so deathly terrified that, like... I would, like... I, I don't know. It's just, it's hard for me to grasp. I have a ghost phobia. I'm trying to think of something that, that really, like, terrifies me. Like, I would even say, like, um, tight spaces, being underwater, 
maybe those are phobias, but I've never been in those situations. So I can't even tell you if I'm actually, if I actually have a phobia of them. But like, if I see like cave videos where people are like crawling through tight spaces, that shit gives me the heebie-jeebies. I'm scared of the dark. Well, are you also scared of rust? I can be told many times that bees won't bother you if you don't bother them. And it sucks if stung, but it won't kill you. Yeah, I don't know. I just, like, I can't say I have a phobia because remember that one time my daughter was about to get stung and I grabbed it and squished it in my hand? So I can't be that scared of bees if I was able to do that. Like, I don't want to get stung, but I've been stung even. I lived, but fuck, I just can't deal. I, 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 haven't even, I haven't been stung. I think that's what scares me the most. If I got stung by a bee, I'd probably be able to uh, weather my caution better. I'm claustrophobic too. I think like a, a true phobia is like depression. Like if you don't have one, it's hard to understand. Because I don't think I've ever been like actually depressed. So I'm like, uh, I... I, I can't even, like, try to relate with someone who says they have depression. Like, because I think that's just fucked up of me to say. Or fucked up of me to try. I have three. I already have them. Phobias are usually so bad that you go into a panic, panic attack or paralyzed from fear. Exactly. Exactly. And I don't think I've ever, like, been... Fro like, the only times I can think of where I've been so scared I was frozen is in nightmares and i don't even think that counts because that's like literally something that's happening in my head i get paralyzed from fear usually mm. Frozen, tears will start pouring down my face, but I can't even make a noise. So that sounds like what happens in my dreams. Minus the crying. I just, like, can't move, or I move in slow motion. When bees made a hive in my car door, and I noticed as I started it up, I had to, like, flee out the other door, and I didn't turn off the car, and I couldn't go back in to turn it off. When I was in the seventh grade, a bee got into the classroom. One kid started freaking out on and on and on with the, oh my gosh, it's going to sting me and so on. He was stuttering, worrying about it. It was very nice back then, but this, but his histrionics pissed me off until I said, it's not going to kill you. You're that guy. Dorky's that guy. A bully. use that word too easily but now phobia means usually means extreme fear or something based jorky hold on this is jorky when i was in the seventh grade a bee got in the classroom one kid started freaking out on and on and on with the oh my gosh and it's gonna s s sting me and so on he was stuttering worrying about it i was very nice back then but his histronic histrionics pissed me off until i said it's not gonna k k kill you And after I had people come by to kill the hive, I couldn't bring myself to drive the car for a week more after that. Honestly, sometimes check nervously when I get in. Well, I'd check too, dude. Ben. The water calls you, Ben. Jump in, Ben. Become Benny Hanas. Histrionics is like being dramatic and freaking out. I've never heard that. Isn't the word hysterics? <laughs> this man's making up his own words. Histrionics? Bro, I'm about to look that up. Histrionics. Here we go. Histrionics. Histrionics personality disorder. Histrionic. Um, pertaining to acting 
scurrilous, shameful, wretched. Or relating to actors as an adjective. Actorish, actressy, dramatic, theatrical. Okay, so it's that's a that's a true word. Georgie is uh, Georgie or Jorky's learned. Jorky's learned. Jorky's big brain. Jorky's like Yeah, I read the dire earth. I was gonna say I read the Bible once. I read the dictionary once. Yeah. Histrionics. Dumbass. Why don't you read a b -b -b book? <laughs> Dorky legit cooked that kid. <laughs> okay, I will say, yeah, we, we get the characters and run starts. Run starts here. Because then you have to go through that valley. And we'll never have to go through all that shit again. Well, run starts after we get, um... Lena. In this world, Komodo dragons are friends, not sport to be hunted. Should have seen. What's this? Danger! Opasa Beach! Kibut! Que pasa? Shit, shit, give me out, give me out, give me out, boy! Get that shit out of you, boy! Oh, boy! I remember this chest not being worth it. It's a bone. Well, maybe that is worth it. Uh, I don't want to fight that Komodo dragon. I'm just going to skip him. You spin me right around, baby, right around. I might need to add point rewards for this game. What do you guys think? Would you be would you guys be interested in point rewards that like revive somebody, kill somebody, or like maybe for like What if what if I add a point that allows a one character of of your choice, like if you pay for the points or like a certain amount of subs um, or like every sub on, in a certain character can get X element added to their roster, you know? So like everyone starts out as black and the only way, or well, if someone starts out as black and can only use black, we, we have a way that someone could teach them another color element. That would be good. Revive would be strong. Revive would also be, like, very expensive. So, like, something that couldn't be spammed. Same thing with death. An idea for the next round? Only ones can be used or something? What do you mean? What do you mean ones? E elaborate. Conflagerate. Hit me with your... Synchronamities. That's a real word. Look it up. Strengthen red and eagle eye green are used in speed runs. Okay. What does that mean to me? What does that mean to a fucky wucky boy like me? So, like, maybe you limit it to, uh, so you can only do a single one strike. M 
limited how? Like, you mean, like, have someone pay points for it? Or I only do one strike, but I can have all the elements? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what the trade-off is there. It means they are powerful. You strengthen up Surge, and he can take threes. Also, thank you guys for the donations. I just saw how much they were. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. I thought it said $3.33. That just says $33.33. What the fuck? I'm literally just standing here playing a fucking game. I mean, someone using up points. Okay. Yeah, because I don't want it to be just stuff that helps me. I'd like it to be half and half. Stuff that helps, stuff that hurts. And they're all the same price. Because I can't stand when, like, you know, someone has, like, a death thing. And, like, the life thing outweighs the death thing. So there's, like, you know, no keeping up with it. Just a temp nerf a chatter can do to sabotage you, right? But I also have one for, like, sacrifice, where we can sacrifice a character and bring back another character. I feel like I should make that more expensive. Ben, he drowned. When he was very young, this all happened ten years ago. Soon after his mother passed away, too. I was still very young back then. So... I'm Ben. Mm -hmm. You're Ben? Oh, stop that. That's not even funny. He's dead. Ben drowned. We did it. Ben drowned percent. Yeah, let's shut it off. We've done it, boys. We're, we're, we're there. Uh. Goodbye, stranger. Howdy, stranger. Does this lady sell stuff? Oh, shit. We do get gold from fights, so I can I can uh, grind for gold. I probably could have bought in the other world too. Fireball, Aqua Beam, Cure. Okay. Okay, this is good knowledge to have. We'll need to we'll need to go to shops more. I don't know the cost, but maybe an option to totally randomize your party with a dice roll. Yeah? No, that'd be that'd be a decent one. Yeah, just as long as it's interesting and, you know, something you guys would want to engage with. And would make a really cool YouTube video. You know, just... Just for me. Not for anyone else. My ideas are more of as an idea. I'm by engaging with point rewards. Yeah, cheeky cheeky. How many points do you have? Yeah, the only thing you use your points for is gambling, because you're an addict. You're an addict. You're so addicted to gambling that you literally make a point reward to throw away your points. Georgie, what are we at? Only 102k? Wow, such a such a low number. Hit him, Georgie. Five hundred and fifteen thousand points. That's insanity. To be fair, if artist, um, if artist hadn't spent most of his points, uh, 
exploding my uh, poles and stuff, he probably would have 250. Artis has put a lot towards my poles for people to earn points. Like, uh, I think the melee tournament I did, a lot of points were from him. A lot of points that I got people betting. So a lot of what Georgie has was invested by artists, actually. I have 380,000 on yours, Rico. Lately, I've been keeping it there. I spend enough to keep it at 380. It never really increases anymore. I remember those fun bets. We might do another one of those now um, before Rico gets a chance to. I love to steal his content ideas from him. So much so that he practically works for me. Hey, a massive amount is me watching. Dude, you've stolen so many points from like putting five points on a bet where everyone else is putting like 10K. I'd work for you. Don't worry, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. That's what I sent you that message for. Dude, she has fireball? Look at this, she has all red magic on her. Why didn't I put her in the party? What's wrong with me? Am I fucking stupid? Good God in Christ almighty. Oh, we totally could have killed the birds if I put Kid in there. I'm learning a lot, I'm learning a lot. So this is, this is the point, this is the point. We learn. We learn as a team. Uh, her face. Your balls. Fuck you. <laughs> Expire. You ready for this? Oh, I'm gonna use it on him. Fireball! Explosion! Nice, girl. 69, girl. 
Now I just have to say no. Yeah, man. So I, I downloaded the shit for Severed Chains. It is so, like, as far as, like, the mods go, it's so unuser friendly Like, I've tried searching a bunch of places to, like, see if there's a guide. They want you to go to the Discord and ask them. And I've already gone in the Discord and asked them about stuff and been completely ignored. Um, I went in there and asked them about how to change code to, like, rewrite text. And I messaged the guy directly. He didn't help. Um, he just, like, said, oh, that's weird. And then I messaged in the Discord, and they just ignored me and kept posting all the code for the game. And I was just like, okay, well, I guess this project's dead. I was gonna... I was gonna take all of the text in Legend of Dragoon and change it. Um, I was gonna poorly translate it and then play it like that, but I couldn't get them to help me with, uh, how to put the files back in. I even applied to be a voice actor in the voice actor project that they have. And uh, they just hit me with, uh, we don't need anybody right now. But we'll need you when we need you. And I'm like, oh, okay. It's basically just, it, it seemed like it was just a bunch of people who are like buddies who started the project. Like, I mean, like, like DBZ abridged, but they're asking, they were asking for people to apply on the website. <sighs> Translations would have been fun. I mean, I guess apparently Severed Change is supposed to be, like, very easily able to do those things when they're finished with it. So maybe they just ignored me because they're working on it for that. I was able to extract all the text. Uh, I just couldn't get them. I just couldn't reinsert them once I extracted all the text. Like, I had all the dialogue in an Excel spreadsheet. I just, it would not uh, put, I, it couldn't even put the same text back in once I extracted it. It just wouldn't work. But yeah, I thought it would have been funny as hell. Like, this sh it's already, like, translated this shit. Like, that would have been... I, I guarantee you that would have been a really funny run. I wanted to do that, like, months ago. Um, when me and Rico started Fire Emblem, actually. Because me, me and him were talking about ideas of, like, uh, poorly translating stuff. Um, and we talked about it for Fire Emblem, and I was like, maybe I could do that with Dragoon. So I started looking into doing it. Dragoon is, like... <laughs> You know, a big praise to those guys who are uh, fucking with the code for that because that game is a beast to try and mod. Even with the tools that they made for it, like, that thing is a fucking monster. Like, it was programmed, like, in spaghetti noodles. That era of console games is a mess. Dude, it was it was even worse. I've seen stuff. I, I've seen some games and how they were messes. Legend of Dragoon doesn't even compare. Like, it's the most backward-ass shit I've ever seen in my life. Like, the way that that game is coded. It's, it's no wonder some of the shit in that game is broken as fuck. It's kind of like, they just, like, they just threw shit together and it, it worked. And they were like, leave it, don't touch it. Do not touch it. Do not change a fucking thing. Or the whole game will break. Leave it. What did we name Lena? Oh, that's right. Never mind. Uh, do we got a different name for pink? Does anyone want to name, uh, Potial anything else? Or are we still going pink 12? 
Because it's gonna, whatever it is, it's gonna be permanent. Because I'm saving after this, and this is gonna be the point we always start from. Pink 14. Ah, uh, smart, smart. Too bad we can't change it every time. <laughs> I should have saved a little before this so that every time we redo this, we just up Pink's name. <laughs> I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a second save, and then if we, if we have to restart, I will do it from the first save. What are you doing in my house? My house isn't a playground for you kids, all right? Go play outside. That's why he says you kids. Because we're, there's supposed to be multiple of us. Right? Wait, no. Uh, no, I'm doing this out of order. They probably wanted me to go here first. Look, it's Gus! Look at him wagging his little ass. He looks like a giant rat. A giant rat cockroach hybrid. So beautiful. His owner must only feed him Mountain Dew. Let's give our boy Electro Jolt. And then... So she's blue. Wait, is my cure gone? Or... Oh, it's still on me, that's right. Toss this cure on her. Oh, I only had the one cure. Mountain Dew does wonders for animals. They die so quickly. <laughs> They die so fast when you feed them Mountain Dew. Okay, uh, this stuff is not expensive. So let's do two cures and then Aqua Beam. Two Aqua Beams. And she could just be our, our, our certified healer. Sure, just one second. Mm. What would you like? Oh, you can forge here. I'm a blacksmith, too. I'm an old lady, but I'm also a motherfucking blacksmith. Let's a fucking go. So how fast is Red 14 going to die? Every helmet. Silver toupee. Pink 14's not going to die that fast. Because I'm not going to keep him in the party. Bone Crush! Alright, now we got to get Kenny. Praise the god, praise him, praise Mojo Jojo. Mojo Jojo. This kind of sounds like Hades theme in Kingdom Hearts 2. Or the the you know, the whole underworld.
so now now that I've lost that first run, here's here's what I've learned. Uh, I've learned uh, to keep an eye on abilities, keep an eye on a healer, keep an eye on the field effect, and to also keep a useless character on the side to sacrifice for the main character. White, blue, and green are the healing elements. I know blue and green for sure. I think white. Isn't white revive? Alright, uh, I'm gonna save- I'm just gonna save this one on that second file. This first one is going to be the one that I go back to, and then I'll save before we, uh, before we name red, or before we name pink, so that way the number can always go up whenever we restart the attempts. Oh shit, look at this! Oh my god! This is just like Final Fantasy VII! You go to the left, you can select the other characters! Oh my god! That's huge! Actually massive! Giant fucking wieners! We could do a green only character run. Can we beat Chrono Cross with the uh with the power of Mountain Dew? I didn't mean to get in that fight. Nose got itchy. I'm gonna die now. This is how I die. Well, I guess we're gonna be using that save right away, huh? Oh my god, it's Gus! Die, you ugly bitch! Take that bitch. Hey now, you're a rock star. Get the show on. Get paid. All right, time to lose the run. Who's going to die here? How funny is it going to be if every time we do this, we always lose a character, no matter what. We're just not strong enough to keep someone alive for this fight. This time I made sure to bring a black element with me, Pepper. You must die.
Not me, dude. Hit, please. For fuck's sake! I need to kill them before they do that dual strike shit. Oh, I don't have... Uh, I don't have my special yet. Oh, no. These hit percentages are crap. I might as well be playing Pokemon. And no one had to die. Retreat. Let's shake it on out of here. Alright, so I'm thinking Kid goes in the party for sure. Because we're going to be fighting a red and a blue. And then we just kill one of those guys before we focus on the middle dude. I thought I could kill the middle dude first, but now that I know he flies in the middle of the fight so that we can't hit him. I probably could hit him with spells, but I didn't have any spells on me. So we'll have to see what items we can buy here. Now that we know we have a red, a blue, and... Two black carrot. Well, actually, no, I'll spin again. So having Guile might be bad, because since he only uses black, we don't get black until much later. So he's like, he's good for the end of the run. But early game, he's not so great. Maybe wait forever. I'm making a lovely lady with like... Aha, so that's it. I get it. This Sheila over here is your sweetie, eh? I'm right, ain't I? No need to be shy. I'm not so bold as to break up tender lovers moment. I'm understanding. I'll wait over your little dates. I'll wait until your little date's over. So see, stuff like that. If, if, um, if Octopath Traveler had, like, little stuff like that, because, like, these characters don't, aren't, like, very deep. You know, there's so many of them. They don't talk that much. But there's, like, small differences in dialogue for a character being in a scene. Like, you know, the dog's there. She's like, what the fuck? You're walking a dog? The girl's there. She's like, oh, you got a little girlfriend, you know? And then you got Octopath Traveler where they're just like, ah, nobody's going to talk to each other. Fuck it. We don't care. Uh, yeah, th we know there's like 10 times of people working on this game, but... Even this, I didn't even know this existed. It's nothing like that. He he's my cousin. 
Isn't that right, Ben? No. Oh, so she's your girlfriend. Hmm. Well, if you still want to go on a date, that's cool with me. Oh, Lisa, stop that nonsense. Oops, before I forget, this is for you. Mom told me to say hi. Wow, thank you. Thank your mom for me. So, miss, how can I help you today? Don't expect any special deals just because we're friends. Yeah, I, d I, I never really have uh, Lena in the party, so I didn't even know that was there. Ooh, we get some magma bombs. Ice Lance! Me looking at an Ice Lance. Not the bushwhacker. Uplift. Cuts out and drops a block of stone on a foe. We need Ice Lance. Ice Needle! It's back, boys. It's been a long time, but it's back. right we didn't invent fast forwarding text yet that doesn't come for another 15 years All right, let's spin the wheel again. Should be the same characters on it. Uh, wheel... Of names. Uh, guitar sex man. How do I get him? When Sir Drew's is terminated with a kid bumping into her here, the planet will change the town. Pierre, there's a bit more labor involved. Head to Magical Dreamer ship at the dock. Chat with Miki. Agree to rescue Nikki at the Shadow Forest. If you're looking for the most plot relevant character, Nikki's vital later on. He's worth the added effort. Okay, well, I guess we're getting him. And he's blue! Yeah! That means more ice needles! Let's go to the Magical Dreamers! He reminds me of Zora Link. I just, I need the, the sound effects for- Yeah! Baby! Yeah! He's a cool dude. 
He's a pretty... He's a pretty fell sweller. The area is off limits. All non-staff members are not allowed in here. Like, get the fuck out of here. So I think uh, we'll get some extra experience, too, before we head to Viper... Uh, Viper Diaper Stuper Pooper. Yeah, this is my first time visiting Terminus. I was wandering around town promoting the band. Lively town. Food's great. All in all, pretty nice place. Concert success seems almost guaranteed, but just between us, the main star, Nikki's missing. Have you seen him around? We found him in the Jays quite a few times lately. It's like he was here in body, but not in spirit. But man, without him, we're pretty stuck. We can't even start rehearsing for the show. Nikki's supposed to be back soon from searching, but... Oh god, it's her. Titties. Nikki, how was it? Did you find him? No, it's no use. I was able to track him up until he went to the Shadow Forest part. There were knights guarding the entrance of the forest, and I couldn't get in. Besides, I really didn't want to be in that creepy forest on my own. There's supposedly a way into Viper Manor at the end of the forest, but what's that idiot trying to do? Shit. This is an alternate route? Oh my god, I, I actually think this is a completely alternate route to- It is! You going through the well! Dude, no wonder I've never been the rock way! I think I always get Nikki! Holy shit! I either always get Nikki or I, I- Can you go through the forest without getting Nikki? Cause yeah, I saw that. Bird. No wonder I didn't know that bird guy. I don't think I've ever fucking fought him. I like how many routes there are. I like how there's only one you. Cause you're very unique. the shadow forest where is the shadow forest where a oh, where is bitch b shadow forest shadow forest shadow 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 forest we need to play shadows theme Yeah, I know this forest, but this also means I'm not getting that meteorite unless there's a way to get that meteorite, like still go that way just to get the meteorite. I didn't want to get into a fight with you. I was just exploring the area to maybe find a meteorite. Oh, benevolent frost, hear my cry! Pierce him through! Ice Nato! Oh, 
Blow him up with fire and shit. Boom. Dream Team, the team of dreamers, radically, radically dreaming. I'm going to say I can't run from battles, too. I feel like that's fair. You know, I'm not I'm actually not entirely sure about that because me, because that bird, like that bird, I have PTSD from that goddamn bird that one shot me that one time. PTSD. Did I forget what that bird even did? What does that bird do that kills you like that? I just remember being in the fight and then Surge dying. Eru Sose! Oh shit, the book at her low! This fucking onion craves blood. I'm out. I'm out, boy. Fuck this. That's him. Sex machine guitar man. Listen to my song. Yeah, baby. Hold on. I wonder if I can find that. Oh, come on. Is it is it is it not a thing? That baby sound. Can't find it. Shame. Ooh, 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 sweet sister of mine. Welcome to the jungle! I get lost here every day! Try to find my way back out, but I can't because I'm gay! Mikau's baby is iconic? Truly. Uplift! Yay! Like my chat, they uplift me. Yeah! Baby! Damn it, you demons! I can't fend them off alone! Well, you're fin to have to, buddy. I gotta go check this tree out. There are red berries growing. Oh, I can't take them. Alright, let's kill them. Don't worry, Nikki. We'll save you. <laughs> what if we name him Yume? <laughs> Get it? Do you get it? Do you get it, chat? Do you get it? Do you get it, chat? Chat, do you do you get it? Do you Bleh. Wow, they're beating him up. What if he dies here? Guys, don't kill him. Please. Look, the Nuzlocke's already unfair. Guys! Oh no. Yeah, we're losing him before we can Can we attack? Are we just gonna watch? We're watching this man get brutally slaughtered. Thanks. Fuck. <laughs> We're just watching him get the absolute shit mixed out of him.
Your DoorDash is here, sir. Where's my tip? What does Maiden Hand do? A real slap in the face to body and soul. Hey, her, her, her eyes look more yellow than green here. Let's, let's do. I think we, we got it. We got to do it to him. Oh, infinite cold, awaken from your slumber. Ice needle. Do you do that every time I do an ice needle? Everything seems so easy until this guy cast an insta-kill spell. All right, Coral. Time to steal from this guy. He's got to have something good on him. Pill for the motherfucker, yeah? Cheeky, cheeky. What not, yeah? Woo! Obtained the bag. Damn, dude, I could have stolen ivory mail for everybody. You can die now. We have your stuff. We have your shit. Pass on. What are those? Is he wearing like ankle sweats? Did you see that? Ben's got some ankle sweats on his on his feet. Or are they just really poofy socks? Those gotta be a bitch to take off. Three up lifts. Cause I, I you know, seven's not enough. I need more. Hey! Um G g uh, guy, we just saved your life. What's with him? I feel like Kid is related to Jace. Can we can we not jump down there? Are we not allowed to? Can we not do that? The guy was like stabbed thirty times. Can we do that too? Come on. Bro goes with the flow. Um, actually, he is the flow. He is flow. Ah, oh, Christ. Am I going to have to fight that? I'm gonna just, just going to walk around that for now. What's this? There are green berries growing. Mm. It's you. What's this? Nice attitude, freak. We saved your life. You could at least thank us. You're off to Vapor Ma or Viper Manor, right? Take me with you. Who the bloody hell are you? Hmm? I think I recognize you from a poster in Termina. And what business do you have in Viper Manor? I believe my sister's in there. Your sister? Anyway, I'll let you in on a secret if you let me join your party. How about it? Rockin'. Nikki joined your band. I'm the rockin' bard Nikki. How about a song? What? No, what? these are terrible options. I want to hear the song. Maybe later. No, oh, fine. All right, so what's the secret you won't tell us, right? In order to get inside Viper Manor, you have to go through the water vein further up. But there's a monster blocking the way. In order to move it, you have to feed it one of the monsters in the forest. I wasn't quite sure to lure one to it. How to lure, lure one to it, but then I found this notebook. It says to lure the monsters with their favorite food. Favorite food? 
probably talking about the plant life growing in this forest. The plants are attracted to a certain aroma, and they emit their pollen. There's a total of three monsters in all, each of which has its preference in food. I'll be staying by the port in Termina. Call on me any time. Well, that's that. And now for a song. All right, let's get going. Hey, wait for me! Not cool! What do we name Nikki? Hey, yo, female Wobbuffet? Vapor Manor is a great name for a vape shop. <laughs> Good night, artist. What time is it even? Oh, wait. Have I been streaming for five hours? No shot. Really? That says five hours and 26 minutes. Wow, it doesn't even feel like it. I want to say we keep the party we have because they're the only ones who have abilities we can use and oh he can use blue as well so we could just have like a bunch of curies and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep it diverse though time what the fuck is that is that an onion tell me that's an onion That's a... That does not look like a fly. It looks like a circle. Onion fly. It looks like an onion. That's what it looks like right here. Me? You see that? It's just a white circle with like some pieces missing. It looks like it, it looks like a, an onion that had a quarter of it cut out. That old lady. fell asleep already. Not the bushwhacker. It's crazy that just regular enemies can fucking do so much damage to me. I probably should grind for more health. At least on the pro tag.
So how do I get the berries, though? Like, it just, uh, when I looked at it, he would just say, Oh, look, it's berries, mate. It's berries. What we do with the berries, yeah? The berries, love. Look, the berries. They're red, they're blue, they're green. I guess we gotta give them to the weird guys there. Oh, wait, maybe... I think I have to go back in the cave to read that note. I want to get that meteorite so bad. There's an old notebook. Read it. In order to wake up the monster blocking the path, use an aroma pouch and check all the plant life. Some of the plants will be attracted to the aroma. There are monsters in the forest that eat the pollen given off by these plants. Use the pollen to lure these monsters to the monster blocking the path. Once you wake it up, all you have to do is defeat it. But in my case, it defeated me. I leave this helpful note for anyone who wishes to get through. How did I write this when I was dead? Mixed among the pile of bones is one bone different from the rest. Ben found angry scalp scapula. We know who that is! There's, yeah, yeah. Kind of dumb that it makes you, like, go in and then back, or go out and then, like, expects you to go back in. But I, I forgot about the treasure chest, which is insane for me. There we, go. we got our little poop cloud. Fake treasure fan. Now you listen here. I don't know what I'm going to say to you yet, but I'm thinking about it. Look, we got a new party member. Yay! Do we fight it now? There's yellow boy. He's coming, he's coming. Give him time, give him time. Or is this the yellow? It's the yellow one. So the red one's the yellow. I don't know where the red... Oh, the red guy's at the beginning. Kind of sad we're killing them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. We're not killing anybody, okay? That thing is... I'm just leading it to a to a, an, an, an inevitable death. That's got nothing to do with me. You know? If anything, it's probably your fault. I said it. I was brave enough to say it. Wait a minute. Did he... Did he take it? Did he take the red pollen? 
What? Damn you, Jimmy Neutron! There's Twinks, there's Twonks, and then there's Twonks. Jimmy Neutron, 517. Oh, I see. We gotta walk around. Say where the fuck did he go? Motherfucker off screen me. You see that? Cunning. Very cunning. he hitting me with? What was that? Well, that wasn't his arm, was it? Because I'm pretty sure his arms were still by his side. Dude, that's so fucking strong. Wow. I was in the loading zone. <laughs> I was actually, I didn't even move. I was in the loading zone. I was about to say, holy crap, we almost lost them. Did he? What is going? Did he? What is happening? Did he eat it? He ate it? How did he get it? The other ones didn't eat it. They just like stood behind me like good, good little boys. This is asinine. Stupid. Stupid red guy. I hate the red guy. Stupid red guy. Stupid ass red guy. Get over here, you stupid fucking red guy. Come on. Motherfucker! <laughs> Do all this just to die to this plant boss.
All right, it's time. Pray for me. Baby, bye, 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 bye. Wait, so if you... I think you... I thought you had to fight him. So if you give him one... You fight him, right? Or two, you have to fight him. If you give him all three, does he give you... He just gives you that? Dude, I, I don't remember this game so much. We're totally taking this, though. Oh, no. Oh, no! <laughs> I forgot about this fight, too. Holy shit. I should have went back and saved, huh? I'm Zoa, one of the four Davas of the Acacia Dragoons. So, you're Ben. You should be drowned. Like bag of sick puppies. Dude, why are salt and pepper so heinous this run? Leave me alone, guys. They're actually really tough because they just strengthen the main person. It's them again, those tough guys. You said you brought a shakingly awesome element with you, didn't you? I have a brilliantly brilliant element this time, Pepper. It's a new summoning element. A hot battle is Shaking? It sure sounds good. Well then, shake a leg. Hurry up and use it on these smart Alex. Affirmative. Uh, affirmatively affirmative. Here I go, Pepper. Huh? Nothing happened. I wonder what went wrong. Ah, oh, I forgetfully forgot. You can't use a summoning element until all the field effect attributes are the same color. You muddle head. Well, then hurry up and turn all the field effect attributes the same color. Can you get into this battle with all the field effect being yellow? Would it, what would happen? But Pepper, you can't use the same element twice in the same battle. Any foolish fool knows that. Oh my god, Salt. Can't you ever do anything right? Are you clowns finished with your comedy act yet? Oh, no. Huh? Yeah, my day, Senpai. Come on. Miss. Ooh, it's a miss. I hate- I hate to use this on- on you, buddy, but you- you gotta go. I need you- I need you to not strengthen Zoa. He's already- fuck. So, kid's dead. He goes twice?! Oh, you fuckily fucker. You forced my hand, Salt! By the power of the Glacial God, pierce through! Ice Needle! Erased. And this guy's using Strengthen and Eagle Eye. Yeah! Woohoo! Damn it! Oh, I should have elemented. Can't believe you would hit a lady like that, you frightfully fuckboy. Magma bro. Here goes my impact bomb. No. 
not Pepper Box. Who's he hitting? Okay, yeah, the one with low defense. I guess that makes sense. And now, you must die. Now you must die. Away. And then there was- No! No shot! What the fuck? He just gave me the people's fucking elbow! Ain't chance in this. Not me, not today. I understood that reference. <laughs> it's alright, we're old. We can be old together. Golden Hammer, crush! Why do you keep hitting her? What's wrong with you? He knows she's out of ice needles. That's what it is. All right, you've, uh, you, you've, you've forced my hand. My maiden hand? <laughs> Just bitch slapped the fuck out of him. I would love to IRL Golden Hammer someone. <laughs> Golden Hammer! Crush! He's still alive? I don't like this. 13 damage, I don't like that. Stop hitting my waifu. What's wrong with you? Idiot? Dumbass? Fuck boy. Is that dude? I didn't even see. You know what? While we're here, I feel like I feel like this is a good I, this is a good time to rob a bitch. Yoink! What I get? Knee pad! Yeah! See, that's something that's different about this run too. I never use pilfer, but I need stuff. The only way I'm gonna get any armor without doing the bullshit to grind for it. What else do I got? Just cures? I just got those cures. Alright, well, we're gonna read the shit out of them. Ben and friends reached a new growth level. I got a bronze glove. Thank you, Spike. Oh, very well. I shall let you pass. Ha, we shall meet again. <sighs> Hell of a jump. That man's got hops. Insanity. Ben found heal. That's green, I think. Now, I'm, I think, I think I should back out and save now. Let's look at this uh, gear. So knee pad is probably just like an accessory. Yeah, there it is. Ooh, look at that. Improves defense. What's the other one? Bronze axe, or bone axe, bronze glove. That would be good for somebody. What the hell are those? What the fuck is that creature down there? Ew. No. Uh-uh. 
I'm not I'm not trying to I'm not trying to die. I want to go back and save. I don't want to go back and die. I can kill the onion things. I don't know what you people are. Well, they're everywhere now. This is... <laughs> this is so stressful for a run. Because I know it's like a very long game. And then there are just some of those battles, you know? Like, we could... Like, I think... Doesn't Lynx, like, almost... Just cast death spells? I might need to go... If I ever fight Lynx, I might need to go in with a party... That I'm okay with dying. And so grinding is kind of worthless in this game. So, like, because grinding depends on the stars, which means we gotta be bosses. We can do small grinding for gold and, like, a little bit of HP, but that's, you know, for 100 health, I have to do 100 battles. And it's not even guaranteed to be gotten every time, you know? Actually, actually crazy, but I guess we'll, we'll learn more as we do it. We've got all of our characters now still. Everyone's still alive. For now, uh, but the point will come when people start hitting us with the dumb bullshit. Ugh. I'm gonna have to fix this. I'm gonna have to relink. Thanks. Thanks for coming out, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna stop here for today. Hey, thanks for thanks for being here, guys. Um, I'm gonna, would my ending screen still work? Not that one. This one. My ending screen does still work. Uh, I'm glad you guys had fun. Um, I probably, honestly, I'm probably not gonna have um celebration streams anymore. They always bum me out, and they always end up being like, it, 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 I just, you know. I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna do celebration streams anymore. I'm just gonna stream whenever I can and you know Like I said the, with the stuff the stuff with my kids I'll do it when I can when I'm available the best I can you know, that's all I can that's all I can promise um, If I don't then I'll just do it offline and make a video about it <sighs> Let's see who's on Right now, let's see if someone is playing this Me, I'm playing it. That's funny. Yeah. No one else is playing. Everyone, there's a bunch of people playing Chrono Trigger. Oh, you know what? Uh, one of the, one of the dudes I follow, uh, Dan Survival, he's streaming Chrono Trigger right now. He's doing a speed run of it. Uh, I love this guy. He does, um, he does, he usually does speed runs of, like, Resident Evil games. Like, he did, like, a whole marathon once where he was just playing every Resident Evil game and speed running every single one. It looks like he's doing a first playthrough of Chrono Trigger, like everybody else in the world. If I played it, it would also be a first playthrough, because I've never actually finished Chrono Trigger. I think I've gotten to where you get Frog in the party. Legit mad lad. I've gotten to where you get Frog in the party, and then that's it. I've never gotten past that. I know how it ends. Or I know, I know like two of the endings. I know there's like, there's like nine endings, I think. And I've seen two of them. I, one of them is the bad ending that you get for going like really, really early and dying, which I think I might've done that. And then the other one I saw my brother do. And I can't remember exactly what it was, but I think it was like dystopian future type thing. You ain't missing much. <laughs> Yeah, it could be. I play it, and then I'm like, Watch Mojo was right. I take back everything I said about Watch Mojo. You're right. But see, that's the thing. When I played Final Fantasy VII, I stopped after Hojo's because... Or not... not or after, after Shinra because of, like... Not because I hated the game, but because of, like, time or whatever. 
Chrono Trigger, though, I didn't like playing it. Uh, the parts that I did, like fighting and stuff, I did not like it. Just felt tedious. Watch Mojo did South Park facts, and some of them were just blatantly wrong. Watch Mojo doesn't watch. They don't watch anything. They just Mojo. Magus is legit the only well-written character in that game, and it's so sad because I know everything about him because I know Chrono Cross and I know the scrapped character arc, and it's such a shame that his arc just dies because they didn't write him into this game. They wrote him out of this game at the last minute. They wrote the most well-written character out at the last minute of, of Chrono Cross to throw in the other characters from Chrono Trigger for no reason, blatantly at the end. No shame in watching Mojo. He's a fun character. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Dan's underscore survival. So we're going to rain to him. Thanks, guys, for coming out. Thank you for the donations. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Um. I did fix the child support thing, so I don't pay child support anymore. I finally got that fixed. I had to do a lot of stupid paperwork and, like, finally get it off. And they credited me the money back that I've been paying since I've gotten uh, the kids in my custody. So, that's nice. That's one less thing I have to do. One less thing I have to pay for. But I kind of got to focus on these videos for a while because I get paid from making the YouTube videos. Like, I've made, I made a decent little bit of money from Persona, so like, if that's if that's the way I make money, that's what I gotta lean into, you know? So I am still gonna finish Final Fantasy VII. That's probably gonna be two more streams. I'm not streaming tomorrow. But I gotta finish Final Fantasy VII, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be doing this run on and off until I'm finished with it. Or we'll do a couple attempts and then maybe move on to something else and then go back to it if we like end up dying really late. But that's my plan. Uh, I gotta talk to Rico about some stuff. And then I'll tell you guys about that. But thanks for watching. Have fun with Dan's survival. Um, great guy. A lot of cool channel point stuff. Um, thank you for the follow, Spike. Uh, have fun. Have a good weekend, guys. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.